Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by Secured Roofing and Solar. I got my roof done with Secured Roofing. Uh, Mo DeWitt got his roof Every redone with Secured Every time you say I got my roof done or Mo got his roof done, mm. I think of you guys getting breast augmentation. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got my roof done. Oh. Yeah. Like, hey, you did get your roof done. Uh, Looking good, Tom. Uh, uh, free estimates. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, just say I, that. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Um, so if you go to Secured Roofing and Solar dot com and you could fill out the form and get a free estimate for your roof. Yeah. You could also get them out there to check if you have any damage. And that's important, especially after storms, to make sure that there is no roof damage because you can get up there and look and think there's none. And then well, next you thing know you know, to look for. eight months later, a leak happened and your whole roof is yeah. moldy. And then is something going on because Mike from Mike's weather page this morning was like freaking. He's like, here it comes. He's saying all this stuff. I'm like, is well, there a storm coming or something? There's lots of weather out there. Yeah. And the best thing to do is call Secured Roofing and Solar if you think there's a problem yep. because they'll inspect it for free. They'll give you a free estimate. Yeah, even if you need tarping, yeah, you yeah. got an issue, they can handle that for you as well. That way, you're not put out and you're not having to get up there yourself, but you got to get a hold of them. Here's the number 407-986-7663. Uh, so give them a call. Yep. Let them know you're a Tom and Dan listener. Also, if you're interested in solar, uh, have the sun pay you yes. <laughs> because they can do that as well. Do they it, have a cartoon of the sun handing money <laughs> back to a resident, that would be cute. It's nice to get your solar with the same company that does roofing yeah, because uh, maybe you can get a bolt done at the same time. Anyway, it's securedroofingandsolar.com. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast! It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Are we on vacation yet? We're close. It is another A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer's here. Hello, Sam. Hey. On the couch, and I'm sure he's got either confrontations or something that he just saw right outside the studio (laughs) that is absolutely remarkable from the Orlando talk show with himself it is Ross McCoy it's a me Ross McCoy <laughs> it's a me we have another guest that we'll introduce in a minute here uh, it's kind of a Friday the 13th themed we're guest we're having fun it's Jason Voorhees everybody <laughs> yeah. Friday the 13th man but before we do that uh, let's talk about the Solar Bears opening night game is happening next Thursday 1019 you can get your tickets in the Tom and Dan section by going to TomandDan.com you can and now you can pick your seats yeah. in the Tom and Dan section the, you'll have the get ability to do that get them fingers in there get them in there and pick them seats so Daniel and Sam will be at that um, also and don't I, forget the tradition of throwing a live Florida black bear on the ice every time they <laughs> Yes, it's hard to do. It's yeah. hard to do. It it's takes difficult. at least eight to nine of my friends. <laughs> and I'm little. Um, we've got the uh, Science Center Solar Eclipse viewing party happening this oh, weekend. Yes, we do. And also the History Center uh, Trick or Treat Safe Zone happening 1028. So if you're looking for some place to bring your kids, yeah. that it's super chill and safe. Well, and you get a bunch of candy and a bunch of other activities. Tons of candy, tons of crafts. They partner with the library, um, which we partner with both yep. of them. So this is perfect. Take your kids there. I've brought Maisie there before they even worked with us. It is a phenomenal time. Uh, especially, especially if you have limited time and maybe your Halloween's going to get cut short, you can just go there and have your yeah. whole Halloween. It's that good. So yeah. try it out. You know, instead of driving or walking your kid from house to house, uh, you know, then determining whether or every, not. Every year I start to hate it more and more. You know, like the going with. 
It's yeah. just like, I don't want to do it. The best. Well, eventually, they'll be able to go on the right. road. Yes, right? yes, yes, yeah. But this is easier. Like, it's air conditioning. I'm walking in the History Center. They have stuff to do. It's not just a bunch of people from other neighborhoods taking over my neighborhood. <laughs> Re- remember, right? I mean, it's like, your fault for living in a nice neighborhood. You're right. Right. you're right. You're right. That is my fault. Remember COVID, Halloween? It was where awesome. I loved it. Every single house. We throw candy from our balcony. <laughs> yeah, but every house. Yeah. It they, was a better way. They were just set up in their driveway, and you didn't have to ring any doorbells. Yeah. or like It was just like, oh, here's the house. Is, yeah, and, well, uh, that's what this history center thing yeah, is yeah. like. It's like you you're just walking, and then there's a table with like some sweet lady who's got an amazing costume who then just pours six pounds of candy in your bag, and then you go to the craft table and do something fun. But so. then COVID Halloween, you go up to the bowl, and it would be like, okay, well, you bleach these Snicker bars. Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> you think that like yeah, yeah. the Snickers oh, factory man. is spreading COVID? You know, like, why I, did you bleach these you Snickers? Know, I I still wipe down my groceries. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know, I never did. I never did. I never did. Jokes on all of you. I never did. I never did. I want time. You know, there's someone still out there wiping <laughs> yeah, down know, the sure. <laughs> uh, Wipe your Niller wafers down. Gotta um, get them Nillers. So, um, we're live on Twitch and YouTube. Subscribe to that. And also, we've had a lot of success with YouTube Shorts this week. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do it. It's really helping us out and getting a lot of eyes on our you know, garbage. So that it helps out. So since Samantha's a great producer, oh, she brought it to a nice thing you've ever said. I don't think <laughs> the nicest thing he's ever said, which means I feel like what are you? Is he you do a challenge or something? Is she seducing you? What the fuck's happening? She she brought up the fact that it was Friday the thirteenth coming up. I think at the beginning of the month, she's like Friday the thirteenth is going to be on a Friday. We should do something <laughs> <Hold> themed. Friday the thirteenth is going to be on Friday. She never said that. I did not say that. That was that, that yeah. was something you said. And then I was like, oh God, what? are we gonna do and then she's uh, we started going through uh some options and uh and we hate all of them because we've been doing this so long that how did we even find it's Ian? because we came Ross? from radio you know that right the, the themes um, yeah the the jaded attitude that we approach every fucking thing we do on the show like i feel like comedians that do podcasts now all right. of them uh, uh, would do this better because they didn't. They didn't used to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, came yeah. from stand up to podcast to like, oh, let's do a it challenge. Was new for yeah, that. They're challenges like, are new for them. Like for us, I'm like, oh fuck, like, we're doing, we've done <laughs> yeah, this a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the themes. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, yeah. Oh, spooky Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it's spooky. Spooky. yeah, Thanksgiving. Uh, no, I, li- I listened to a couple like low rep podcasts recently, no. and nah. Uh, okay, all right, that makes me feel good. All right, thank you, Ross. I like your newfound positivity. Uh-huh. I like that. So Ross, he. He's brought in this guest today, yeah. and Ross. The hell I did? No, he no, just no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. I <laughs> he thought he was your friend. No, they, they, they're bitter. I, I know this guy. Yeah. I maybe like Sam put the call out for what you guys yes. were looking for, and I was like, I know a guy that does that, yeah. and yeah. I suggested him, but we didn't like Look ride at him t- together. Ripping or away the credit for me already. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not friendly. Oh, I, 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 thought, I thought it was Ross's yeah. buddy. It was a tarot card buddy. So Ian If is here. How you doing, Ian? Hey, how you guys doing? Can we hear me? Are we? Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear? Yourself okay, good, good. or no? Yeah. yeah, I can hear you. I, yeah. I can hear me. You put, sound put, good. Yeah. So Ian is a tarot card reader, Three. correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how did you get into reading tarot cards? So yeah, uh, and I should explain. I'm what's known as a technical reader. There's a there are intuitive readers. Like if you were to go to like Casadega, okay, and you were to like sit down and get a, a reading from somebody, that's called an intuitive reader. Uh, I don't. I don't claim gift. Uh, I'm just a guy who I started reading about 20 years ago. Just got my own deck and was playing with it, and spent a long time getting really into it, and just studied, learned how to do it. So I know the technical end of the of the cards. Gotcha. So you're just like them, but not crazy. Not crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 And again, I, I I like to say that I just don't claim gift. Like I know people who have gift, uh, or who who you know claim gift, and I'm like, great. If 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 that's how it appears to you, that's how it appears to you. I'm just analyzing what's in front of me and, and talking to you guys. I like how you call it claim gift. <laughs> claim it's gift. like when nerds yeah. are talking I'll about Halloween. Gift. No, it's like when nerds are talking gift. about the movie, is it uh, Halloween, where they're like, The Shape. Where the talking, shape. Oh, yeah, yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. Michael Myers. Michael Myers is yeah, the shape. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. shut the <laughs> fuck up, <laughs> yeah. you fucking nerd. I am, I am nerd all day. Yeah. Okay, I am, all right. I, I didn't am... mean that for you. The no, 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 no. <laughs> By all means, that. that wasn't for you. That was for the people that go like, oh yes, the shape. I'm like, shut the fuck up. It's Michael Myers. <laughs> right. 
But no, no, no. Uh, everything I say will be pretentious or nerdy, and okay, feel free great. to just rag on that all, right, all day. Yeah. <laughs> and so, awesome. Ian, correct me if I'm wrong, but like what you're saying is, whereas like a maybe uh, spiritualist reader would say, like these are the spirits moving these cards, or you might just like say these cards represent certain archetypes yeah. in the world, yes. right? And here's this archetype has come up. How does right. that apply to your life? Here at this it is point? in the position in the reading. And how does that apply and to how you? How does that apply yeah. to you? Okay. And, and okay, cool. your interpretation is going to matter more than mine. I'm just giving you some clue love into it. the idea. I love right? it. Right. You know, it's fantastic. That's the thing. Well, so, you're perfect for our show. All right. Okay, well, great. <laughs> Ian, let me ask you, do, uh, do you think that the other tarot card readers that claim gift are, do you think, they're, do do you think they actually have a gift? I've had people say stuff that I, uh, you know, weirded out by, like that I'm like, okay, that's mm. good. That's yeah, like, you're that's, the, but well, like, I say like that's I'm a pedophile. <laughs> you know, like, everybody would be like. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, to me, the line is super thin because like the spiritualist is saying like, here's how this applies to your spirit. It. And yeah. Ian's is saying how this applies to your mind. What's mind. the difference? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the right. ghost that right. lives in your goddamn meat. Yeah. Either you way, make, yeah, you yeah. make the difference. Ooh, right? the ghost that's... in the meat. That's a good band. <laughs> I would argue yeah. that really most. Is. I have a ghost in my meat. And it is horny as fuck right now. Oh my god, my wife. He just got old. Please jump on it. Uh, just to be fair to other other readers out there, I just want to say that like most readers, I think would claim that what they're doing is not so much spiritually. It's just that it's intuition. They get away from the specific meanings of the cards and they go toward more of reading you, reading you as they read the mm. cards themselves and they're sort of playing off that. I'm just going to be nerding out on the cards and yeah. then be like, so does that mean anything to you? Like, that's <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. pretty much how I I just work. noticed you look like my avatar in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, the character I made for myself in that game, Harry Potter, I have those fucking glasses and nice. my beard looks exactly like yours. That is my avatar for the wizarding world. That's better than the number of years that I was just called Harry Potter. Yeah, well that game is fantastic. If you All haven't right. played it, play the game. It's so, fantastic. Yeah, how long did it take you to two weeks know <laughs> like know all the cards and be able right. to like even interpret. I'm, I made fla- so like I said, I spent about like seventeen years where I was just reading for myself and friends, but I was always using the books and I wasn't memorizing or anything. I was just using the books. And about three years ago, I was like, I should I should get to know these, and I made flashcards. And I, uh, you know, read through a bunch of other books and you so on. You made cards I made of cards? <laughs> I mean, that's that's oh, some nerd oh, shit right there. Little, yeah. 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 Why didn't you uh, just use the fucking them. cards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The cards have very little information <laughs> on them is the sort of the problem. And so, yeah, so I, I, I did that. And it took me about, like, six months of, like, study, study, study. Till I felt comfortable just being like, okay, I know what I'm doing with these uh, when I point them out. It's like what you did during COVID with gambling. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it yeah. gave you yes. a bunch of time to yeah. study and you're something. Like, well, I'm going in. I'm yeah. going in. Yeah, there you go. How much of tarot card reading is improv? Like, for instance, pool noodle. Well, fire no, hat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, right. you, I need a city. Give me a Cincinnati. <laughs> so I imagine Christmas. like uh, the Ooh, the people Christmas that in Cincinnati with the pool noodles. Remember when Jay Moore was in here and oh, he, yeah. he started to, he, like, he was he, married. Yeah, and he was just at the Las Vegas Eye watching wow. you too. Pre Coke or post Coke? He, he got married <laughs> to someone cool too, and I can't remember. The Lakers owner. Yeah. Lakers owner. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, like he deserves that. Yeah. I think it was post Coke. I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, I think, yeah, it wasn't that mar- it long. Was, ago. Yeah, he was sober. But, He's still like a mile a minute, but yeah, like yeah. a little bit down. Yeah, he was sober when he, oh, yeah. when we saw him, but it was a mess. So fat. Yeah, <laughs> but yes. I'm, yeah. I'm an expert in all phases of Jay Moore. But he had the ability <laughs> to read someone, like cold read someone, just yeah. from talking yeah. to them a short period. It was of time. really good. And then I'm like, uh, this is this must be what psychics have, or yeah. like you know, this intuition, or be. And then with that ability, with the cards, I imagine as you flip over a card, you're reading the person at the same time and then interpreting the card right. to push it towards what you believe the person, like like you are hungry, I could tell. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Wait a minute, you know, this like, is what I do with my family. No, no, I'm just like, this is exactly what I do with my family so to manipulate is. them. It, is it like that? So it is, it's very, very like that uh, and it, I'll tell you, it's it's it, it's primarily uh, uh, improv. The, 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 if there's one real like power to the cards, it's the chaos magic of choosing them at random. Right? Because I don't know what we're going to pick. I don't know what we're going to be looking at. So it's looking at that and looking at you and and getting what you told me about, what you care about, what you're interested in, so on, and going, okay, this is how that might 
be connecting to you, connecting to that. Sounds like this might be where you're going. Yada, yada, yada. Gotcha. Okay, so should we... Who wants to go first? Because I'm interested. In you. I <laughs> like, mean, like... Hey, well, Sam, well, I'll go. Now, okay. I, yeah, let's let's okay. start ladies first. It's just polite. And, and Sam's all in on this. And I think it's important to start with somebody who's uber positive. Because I'm right in the middle. And I think we know which... I think we know which <laughs> way you go. Well, right? well, Ian's already it's, said that he's not talking I about know, supernatural. I understand. Just, I understand but if we were going to rank it... Tell me be, my future, Ian. It would yeah. be Sam Day. And top, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're the least introspective. Like you're pretty, out, you're pretty out and open. There's you're not right. a lot hidden in there. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be hard to. Well, how does this penguin apply to you? It's, you're gonna be like, I don't know. Is it a penguin? Man, if you get the <laughs> penguin, high penguin. If, I, if I pull the high penguin, man, that's a bad <laughs> card. My God, wait a minute. I'm the high penguin. <laughs> that's, my, that's my business partner. Holy shit, I am. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. That's a terrible card. Does he have broken hips? <laughs> Waddles. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, now how does it like? How many cards do that? Go? Tell me. It's all gonna. Well, let's talk to Sam here. If okay. I'm reading for okay. Sam. So, Sam, what kind of a? Do you want to just hear about like some issue that you're thinking about? Do no, you want, like, don't a, talk about my issues on do you, the show. Do you want, like, <laughs> like a profile of you? Do you want what do you what What do you want? I think uh, before we started recording, you said like, uh, "Where are you going?" Or like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. A sort of where are you going? Oh, that's that's things you'll what am I, do. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. Oh, yeah, what yeah. am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to know. Yeah, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of that's kind of the, the, the spread. That's a spread yeah. I can do. Do we want to do it? Let's do that spread, spread like that. Yeah. Okay, spread them. Uh, spread them. Can I get <laughs> you over here? Yep. Whoa, okay. seduce them. Oh. First of all, might not have a mic though. All right. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Swing your. Can you swing your mic over? And then we'll just have. No, you could just use one mic, Sam. You'll be all right. You'll yeah. be all right. yeah. You'll be fine. I, I you'll ma- still hear me. Yeah, you'll make it work. That one's a lot more forgiving. It's we'll be fine. Sensitive. I hope the first card is uh, a podcast producer. Yeah. How long could that last? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're gonna do it. Hyper specific. Oh. So I've got a lot of decks here. Okay. Uh, and I'd like you to choose a deck. That's the pinup deck. This is the garbage pails kids deck. We've got uh, the Black Terror, a bunch of things. I thought you were going to say this is the. I thought you were going to say this is the traditional deck. This is the garbage people deck. Yeah. You can <laughs> use that deck. one. Uh, uh, the the I will say uh, I think one of you should probably do the traditional just in case your readers mm-hmm. or, or you know listeners at home. Yeah. Uh, to follow along, like to kind of see what you're seeing. This is the one they're going to see if they like were to look these things up. You okay. know what I'm saying? I call dibs um, on the tarot of sexual magic. You but guys. yeah, I was going to say tarot of <laughs> oh, sexual magic. This one? Uh, this is a cyberpunk deck. I am a big oh, fan shit. of this deck. This one. you want to do this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, read this Chum's future. This <laughs> one's cool. This one's a sort of a, a black market uh, uh, deck. Only because I found out that uh, I bought it from a place, and then the people who made these cards saw it, and they were like, "That's a bootleg deck." Prem. Somebody oh. printed that and uh, illegally. While I do that I all the time. This, I download people's uh, copywritten art. And I <laughs> print it out myself. Yeah, yeah. While no. I am doing this, let me ask you, uh, uh, Sam, what? Uh, what are you interested in right now? I mean, like, where where do you think your life is going? Like, what are you worried about in your life? And, and oh, everything. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Is the crowbar still out there? On the yeah, yeah, the crowbar's still out there. <laughs> okay, yeah. she's worried about that. I know that. Yeah, there's a crowbar say, yeah. in the grass. She's terrified of. <laughs> are, are you are you hoping to to you know? Move on to bigger, better things. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to do? You get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, You're breaking our show apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my God. Of That's course, like, everybody what are you is. Doing? That's it. Goddamn That's Harry Potter no, no, no. bastard. <laughs> Tom <laughs> nailed it. Literally every person, no matter what they're doing, they could be a millionaire or whatever, and you're just like, so what do you want to do? And they're like, well, I'm hoping to do something cool with my life, you know? And you're like, okay. Well, this is pretty cool. It It is. It is cool. I'm looking forward to getting out of my kitchen and smoking weed later. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because we're awesome. Yeah, yeah. I set my low, too. I was like, maybe a couple games of Madden? Yeah. I was like, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll clean my bog tonight. But do you have have any, you know, just goals going on? Anything? (laughs) (laughs) I love this. Ah, Stonewall you. Get him, Sam. Big fan. All right, okay. Take uh, because again, I'm not uh, I'm like I'm saying. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what the cards say. Take right. this, put it into eight piles. However you do that, however you oh, want to do. It. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, right. term pile, Make sure I, the term piles tell. freaks you out. The camera, the way I had the camera angle, it was just okay. our tarot reader, and then just one huge titty. <laughs> 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 like, it's going to be great for ratings. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so Sam is separating all the cards into eight piles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Piles. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, it doesn't have to be piles. You just have to get me eight cards, basically. However, okay. those eight cards. That's how it does you. it. 
That's, that's, good. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. He does the old eight card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah. I imagine that uh, every card has like a thousand outs. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you know, like the death card is a good card, yeah, yeah. or a or card, just, card of change. Yeah, yeah. All good. Okay, there we go. Okay, right. All right. All right. That's oh, fine. my God. These are excesses. Oh, he just hit his head on the mic. No, that, He's bleeding. That's well, all right. I'm dying. Sam I'm busted. Over here. Um, One, two, three. Is this seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight, eight right. on the floor. Eight on the floor. Okay. So, is this first or last? First. This is first. One, two. Keep talking, guys. Okay. It's going to take me a second. You don't tell me what to do. This is my show. <laughs> Just, Ian, give us an, uh, an idea of what you're doing. Yeah. This is how you and organize the cards. So you can't yes. right now because he's busy. That's why he told you to <laughs> talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell you what to do either, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys talk and keep busy. All right, Ian, uh, will you tell us? Going, <laughs> you know, D- Daniel, I feel like you could be really good at this. And maybe we should turn, when after hours, we should turn our office. I've been looking along the way. Into a parlor of dark arts. Yeah, yeah, it's a dark arts party. Because you know what? After after we leave, yeah. this sits here. Yeah, this place like, is literally hemorrhaging money. <laughs> I could be in here wearing a turban, <laughs> yes, being it. a. I could be yeah, yeah. a. What I want to call myself? I'm a wizard of the dark arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's there's one. There's like a parlor of uh, of the the mind reading type down on South Orange Ave, kind of by my house. I go by it a lot, and it got a tree fell on it recently, and I can't. I know it's I know it's hacked, but every time I go by, I can't help but think I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> it's not. It's not hacked. It's, it's, so it's classic. You gotta say classic. Okay. It's a classic, right? Every time I go by, everybody's gonna laugh at that. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay, so we are ready. We yeah. are looking at uh, we are looking at Samantha. So this first card that I'm pulling out, this first card, it's yep. his dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is all a big elaborate look at my dick. He just wanted way. to show his dick. All right. Show's <laughs> over, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Show his dick. This Ruin is the show. You today. Oh, okay. This is good. All right. So, for Zent, this is like I said, this is a uh, uh, different uh, deck, is a cyberpunk, cyberpunk deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Zent is pentacles in this deck. Uh, okay. It's coins, uh, which is like money, material, uh, mastery, and so on. Four is home, is comfort, is like the I am, I am. In a stationary, good place. Hmm. Maybe I wish I was going further. Like, I, it's sort of the point where you're like, I'm good, I'm comfortable, I'm, I'm at home. But I, I might need to go beyond where I am. You know, I might have to break from that comfort to go anywhere. Um, but that's you right now. It's sort of mastery of the materials around you. You, you know, you have things where you need them. Well, uh, hold on. Da, da, da. And she what can't. F- she can't leave her house. She yeah. got a two percent interest rate, <laughs> yeah, right. and there's no leaving yeah, her. What so, are you to do? And we're all stuck right. here. Yeah, we're all right. You're stuck. Yeah. You're stuck in your home, but you're but you're in a home. Yeah. That's the oh, thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Now this is this is a blockage card. This is a card, Uh-oh. something that's how like, much blockage? What percentage? You, giving you it's all cheese. Put a stent in. This is you got to put a stent. Very possibly. So this is the three of arms. Arms in this is swords. Swords. I have a particular bias against. So, like I see swords and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you got stabbed by Knights <laughs> Templar one time. <laughs> swords. It's a problem. Swords. Uh, swords are about the mind. So pentacles are about uh, money and and things. Swords are about your mind. Mind of my spirit. money and my money on my mind. <laughs> but your mind and the three uh, is about like sort of early success. It's where people have started to recognize you in a in a, a thing where where in a communal way people sort of recognize you in this position. Yeah. So the blockage here is that uh, basically that a lot of people or that that you have developed a particular line of thinking for yourself that that is associated that you just are like that's who I am that's where I am and you don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> paranoid Sam and, and you don't know how to get out of it that sits on top of you right there mm-hmm. that is the thing is that Travis if I can break that <laughs> yeah, I bet he's a sword so, <laughs> he's got a sword this. Is what you like about yourself, this card right here. And this Oh is... my god, it's the two of titties. <laughs> oh, the three of wires. Okay, the three of wires. Wires in this deck is uh, wands. By the way, I'm not using reversals. Reversals tend to be distracting. Wait a minute, don't use learn. draw twos either, because that shit <laughs> fucks it all up. I don't, I, don't oh. use, I don't use wilds, and uh, I don't use draw twos, and I don't use reversals. And I don't use reversals mm-hmm. because, again, I don't uh, want you to... Uh, uh, just get distracted by what reversals made. It's a whole thing. Sam, did so, get lucky that was one of these. Just uh, get out of jail free. <laughs> <laughs> so wires is uh, wands in this deck. Wands is spirit. Wands is fire. Wands is the part of you that is you. Is the the thing that is most you. 
Three is, again, it is the place where you feel like I have reached a level of me that other people recognize as me first. And you like this about yourself. And I would say that you probably do. I'd say that that's probably pretty true. Is that true about you, Sam? I, yes. That you just like, that I'm saying that you like you as a as kind of a a, 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 a total. Right, yeah, there we go. Mm. That'll work. So the three of wires, I think, is what you're trying to say is the Taft card. The Taft. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That'll yeah. work. A lot of wires. This <laughs> Country you confidence. don't like about yeah. yourself. Oh, what is that? Oh, we're getting... Oh, it's another three, but we're in the Major Arcana now. This is the Empress. Major Arcana and the okay. Empress. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian is doing my favorite thing that a, that a tarot reader can do, which is acting like super surprised and excited every time he turns the card over. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, my yeah, God, yeah, you got that it. one. Oh, my God. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. That's what happens. Yeah. So, so uh, the Empress uh, is part of... Uh, I can't get into the whole nerd thing that I would do here. But the point is that the Empress is about... Um, care and love, but it's also about authority through care. Like the way that your mother is like, do what I say because I feed you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that sort of idea. So, uh, Sarah either bitch. it's... Right. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> you you win! One thing you don't like Show her what she went through! Overly mothering to, to people, but you feel like you're domineering, or you know, uh, mm. maybe that you get you I know, don't have kids two up in your own head. Yeah, no, but maybe there's two little boys you take care of. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> Let me, before we go on, again, I, I just, like I'm saying, your interpretation of this is going to oh, matter more than okay. mine. So are you feeling any of this? Does any of this refer to things? I mean, like what I'm telling you, does this refer back to things that you feel like? I think loosely, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. It should be loose. It should be loose. And you should. Nah, I don't think so. Well. I think you should be tight as fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Loose. <laughs> I'm like, too many babies. And on top of that, it should also be. Uh, you should be looking for moments in this that really resonate. Precious because moments. maybe not all of it will, but some part of it might. Okay. Okay. This is your talent. This is this is uh-huh. the thing that you sort of rely oh, on as you, as you move out into the world. Okay. All right. So, we are looking at the, oh, the executive of Viles. Okay, that's interesting. How's your love life? I told you. Good. Okay. <laughs> I told you, Blue Johns, oh, and everybody looked at me like a pervert. <laughs> I'm a goddamn, I'm a, okay. I am the, You're doing it. What's the thing? I, I'm a talent. You're doing it. <laughs> One of the things I love about the deck, so Viles is cups. Cups is love. Cups is your relationships to other people. It's often thought of as like your romantic Here relationship, you but it's really just like all your relationships okay. with people. Executive... Uh, is the same thing as king here. I like the use of executive better because in that's normal not true. Deck, executive producers are a nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that earlier this week. In a normal deck, you have king and queen, and I'm like, there's no functional job difference between a king and a queen. Like you know, a female monarch is still just a monarch. Like true. a male monarch is a monarch. Kings so, are way less expected to bear live children, but yeah, go ahead. In this deck, <laughs> they separate them between executive and supervisor, and that makes sense to me because executive is how you rule that concept. And supervisor is how you communicate to other people within that concept. So this is saying that your talent is your ability to rule your relationships, like to fully understand all of your relationships, uh, like particularly the important ones. That would be an and, amazing, and that's an amazing skill. real skill yeah. uh, at, at managing those. So that's... That's a good talent to have. Yeah, man. That's a solid yeah. talent. It's like to, good to... at maneuvering through yeah, yeah. life based on the people you know and the people you care about. And yeah, and, yeah that's and we, cool. we know who the boss is in Semantics University. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. absolutely uh, clear. Yeah. Uh, right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> this here, uh, this is going to be a sort of like a, a hidden power, like an unknown thing, maybe like something that you don't ever acknowledge to yourself, might refer to other people around you, people in your life that help you in some way that, you know, you don't often think about. It's sort of an unconscious way that they do that. Ah, the six of vials. Okay. Uh, wow, six. Of yeah. Six yeah. is well, uh, a lot recovery. of cocaine. Yeah, to be fair, it's the first time we've had anything uh, repeat in this, so... Uh, and and everything's been on threes and sixes now, so that's What's that? man. I am not that kind of numerologist, but there are people who are, and they would be looking at this and going like, "Is that four threes and then a or three threes and then a six? Like that's crazy!" Oh my god, you get another anyway. six, you get a full house. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's something like that. I think at a certain point you get candy, but uh, um, so six is recovery. Six is how you heal from relationships. 
Mm, uh, how you? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so again, hidden hidden power that you have within you to to heal from relationships or to heal other relationships, to heal people that mm. uh, uh, are having that. A lot that. of therapy. You know? I, I haven't <laughs> understood one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point that out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All the cards are, like, is there any way to even, uh, for the person to tell what the card is about or really they keep them You'd very... Have to, very vague. Study. You'd have, again, y- y- it, it helps to know this deck and to know uh, the work that was done a hundred years ago by a, an order called the Golden Dawn who wrote all this stuff about how tarot is to be interpreted and blah 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 but once gotcha. you have that manual in your head you can lay it across anything that's yeah, cool that's right. yeah that's thing. neat yeah, yeah, yeah. the Golden Dawn Golden Dawn the, oh, okay. yeah it was the was the group that did it uh, I love Alistair the Crowley, we, gotta start, we gotta start fluffing up our names and shit <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we right. got lame right you know, Tom like, and Dan yeah, come on so man lame. the Golden Dawn sounds amazing yeah. <laughs> the beginning so, of time is- this is the what to consider card mm-hmm. this is just like a card that means something you should keep in mind going forward. It doesn't really necessarily tell you how to keep it in mind. It's not about any particular thing. Just have it in your head, right? This is again a three. It is again the three of vials. So uh, the idea that you that there is some success in relationships, just again that early success, that idea where if you're talking about relationships, it's like where the two of you have made it Facebook official. Right? You know, that's that's basically what the three of aisles would be. Like, if you were just looking at, like, a relationship, you'd be like, oh, we made it Facebook official. That's three of aisles right there. Okay. Gotcha. Well, this, yeah, I mean, Sam's been with her husband for a long, long time. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's just one relationship. Yeah. yeah. There's the, there's the, oh. He's saying oh. he's applying that level of... Of, uh, officiality mm. to the three of vials. The three of vials, exactly. And you can apply that to any relationship across her life. Yes. Gotcha. gotcha. Like maybe she's going to adopt Good a guinea pig. Yeah, you don't understand. <laughs> you, either. you are getting this, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm okay. telling you. You're going to do it. It's like someone explaining their dreams. Yeah, I, know, I, know, <laughs> I know. Just sit there. Just sit there. I can't wait for your dreams. Yeah, yeah. This is, that's also another passion of mine, so we can do that. Uh, yes! <laughs> oh, my God. But that time I will have you dressed as the dream master or something. Like, you'll have a costume. You'll have a costume. I'll uh, help you. This is the outcome card. This is sort of where things are headed if they keep headed in the direction that they are headed. Oh, nice. This is the devil. Yeah! 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 Devil! 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 This is the card of temptation (laughs) and of lies. Oh, cheat, cheat, cheat! It is, uh, again, it could be you, it could be the devil working against you, who knows. But uh, uh, basically what it's... How do I end on the devil? <laughs> yeah. He left the crowbar. <laughs> yes, this motherfucker knows you're paranoid, and he goes, I'm going to end her with a devil and freak her up. Yeah. I'm going to fuck her for a weekend. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'll, get these. It. He's like, I'll get these motherfuckers. Number one, there's no such thing as a bad card, except for, again, the swords. I will. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but as he's showing oh. you the card with the fucking devil on it. Well, the devil. devil's on the spectrum towards the bad one. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> it's not a good one. Yeah, it's like if the people tell me, remember, law. little dicks aren't bad. <laughs> yeah, they are. The devil is a law of nature. Okay. The devil is a fundamental force. The devil is just the idea that like, hey, you can't always trust reality. And that's really where I think this is saying that it's going, is that you will continue to have problems trusting reality. Oh, oh. Trusting <laughs> Holy shit! Well, that actually <laughs> boom, nailed it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't tell her not to trust reality. We already have... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're so <laughs> close to her not trusting yeah, yeah, yeah. us. Every knock on the door is a serial killer. <laughs> so thank you, you almost didn't saying. make it into the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was fantastic. What'd you think, sir? That's yeah. fairly accurate. Now yeah. I gotta look up the threes and sixes. I was gonna say, I, I've never seen that many threes and sixes. Ooh, in a that's, that can't be good. <laughs> or maybe it just means you keep things in order, you know? So maybe. That's a, that's a thing. That actually does mean things. Right. So, Ian, ju- just to break it down a little bit, because mm-hmm. I, as I'm watching you do this Mm -hmm. uh i i I, i'm looking at a very good skill that you have which is improv yeah uh, also your your demeanor and look is perfect for this like seriously it's like exactly what we need (laughs) and we never hit it out well when you flip over when you flip over the card okay the card means something you know you know what it means and then it's you applying that meaning towards the person you're reading anything the person has given me anything the person is is you know telling me and like i said i'm not psychic i can't I'm not trying to figure out some secret thing that you haven't told me and be yeah. like, oh, you're secretly having an affair or whatever. I don't know. I'm just putting what's here in front of you and asking how it relates to you. But you've told me a little bit about you. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna help you, you know, in that. I'm gonna kind of guide you in that. Mm-hmm. It's a he therapy it, tool. You said it one too many times. I think you're psychic and you're cheating by reading our minds. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, <laughs> anyone, I'm trying very hard to keep the government <laughs> off my. Uh... Also, anyone that listens to the show knows that every time you mention secret affair, I sweat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're obviously onto something. Uh, no, I only say that because it's on my mind yeah. for a totally unrelated reasons. Also, a lot no. of people do it. You know, yeah, I mean, right. it's very popular. Can we all just say that a lot of people are cheating? Oh. Is that just yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a great thing 50%. to guess. Yeah. So, Ian, is is that the way that you traditionally read tarot car- yeah. cards in, in eight groups of eight? Yeah, and then you know, you... on a couch in a podcast studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but is there any other way no, to no. do it? No, no. Lots okay. of other ways to do it. Uh, like I said, that was a that was a getting to know you spread. That one in particular is a spread about a whole sort of profile on a person. There are longer spreads for that. There are bigger spreads for that. Uh, there's one that I typically use that's a four-card spread that's just a real quick understand the issue kind of spread. That's Let's do that I, with Tom, because we I, need yeah, to yeah. understand his issue. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Do you want to go next? Yeah, yeah I'll do a four-card four spread. You, All right. you love spread science, Tom. Come on over here. He's got to right. feel your energy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Stare into your all eyes. Right. Think of you it have, as like a psychological a evaluation. Like, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. Oh, the stereotype. Okay, Do big red or big yellow. Do big yellow. So this is what's known as the the Rider Waite Coleman Smith deck, or the RWS deck. Uh, it was uh, designed by uh, Arthur Waite, who was the uh, member of the Golden Dawn that uh, wrote about it. And the paintings were all done by a woman named uh, Pamela Coleman Smith, uh, who did a lot of the symbolism in this and so on. Anyway, uh, there, I've just educated you like way that. beyond. <laughs> no, it's cool. Needed. It's cool, man. I like um, it. So tell me a bit uh, about uh, what's going on with you. Um, I mean, I've got a lot of problems. Okay. <laughs> okay. He just grew up this mustache. Let's, let's put it this way. If the first card is the boat, he's fucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, uh, he, uh... I've made bad financial decisions. Uh, okay. I bought a lot of Bitcoin right at the height. When oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's like 50, 60, he's about to go Bitcoin out. Bitcoin at $80,000? To the moon. He's uh, about to go out to the here. desert. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, you know, my marriage uh, is, you know, someone would say. Up and uh, down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's uh, all around town. All right, man. Like, uh, the, the, this podcast, it was going well for a while, and then now we're... Uh, kind of running out of gas yeah, a little bit, yeah. Are yeah, oh, you yeah. thinking about moving on to bigger and better things? Is yeah, that the... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, or maybe <laughs> just <laughs> moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing bigger, nothing better. Mm, yeah. 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 We, uh, me and Daniel have already had a suicide pact. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's a solid, again, uh, these are all solid things that can come up in the card. So okay, I, I, I like to see it. You guys could get an AM shift in El Paso, no problem. There's no need. Give me four piles. Uh, okay. Four cards, yeah. however you want to give, give me four piles. Right from the, the top, right from the middle, however you want to give me four cards. Just four cards, okay. Four I'm, cards. Okay, I'm going to go one. Uh, here we go. Two. Yep. Oh, I'm going to well. use this one. Three, All right. And then right from the top, four. Bingo. Okay. You called this one one. Is it first or last? Uh, I'll do last. That yeah. was last. Uh, he's trying to throw you hey. off. Okay. That was last. He's trying to throw first. you off. That was last. Remember, he said first is last, and last is first. <laughs> last is right. Yeah, yeah, he was last will be first. So, okay. So, up at the top here, this first card that I'm going to uh, show you, this yep. is the issue. Okay. This is sort of what's on oh your mind. Oh my god, it'll be a picture of you. That we're going to deal with. <laughs> it's the one of drunken bears. And it is the page of swords. Oh, okay. the page of swords. Oh, he's gay. I like that he laughed at it when he, when he pulled <laughs> That's it. That's what it felt like, right? That's what it felt like. I do. <laughs> god damn it. All right. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> like I said, swords are mine. Okay, do you get anything? Just look at the picture. Just look at the picture. Yeah, yeah, what makes it? <laughs> what does it make you think of? <laughs> Hey, well, it, 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 uh, it, the guy has a sword. He's wearing a dress. Okay. <laughs> page. So, so the 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 four uh, uh, basically royal cards up at the top. You got page, knight, queen, king. All okay. Right. Page. It, these are about how the energy of this suit hits you. This is about mind. Remember, okay. this is about your brain. Yeah. So, this is about your yearning energy with your mind. Basically, it's about a yearning for respect for your mind. All right. Oh my it's, God! It's Wait, this is dead on. That's dead on. I, I wish, I wish <laughs> people actually cared the fuck about on. what I thought about things. Oh, that's <laughs> his whole identity. <laughs> Shit, this is why he has the fucking mustache. <laughs> oh my All right. God! Holy. We're starting off strong. Oh my All God! Right. And then your mind's gonna tell me I'm dead soon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the goddamn devil in so, here. Oh no, it's no, good. No bad. No so bad Tom. Card. They all seem to think this connects to you. Does this connect right. to you? Do you feel yeah, it? Yeah, well, I feel. Yeah, like... he wears that dress all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's his sword. I'd recognize it anywhere. There's a problem with respect that I have where, you know. I get no respect. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been saying he's yeah, yeah. Rodney for years. I, I, you know, when you start off as a clown, a radio clown, and mm-hmm. then you, you you move on, you try to be a respectful business owner, yeah. uh, you know, the best podcast salesman. You can clown uh, your way through that, but, you know. Yeah. It's really yeah. hard to get track. out of a bear costume. Yeah, like, yeah. that is the problem. Well, speaking of that, drag yeah. me back in. Nick. Yeah. Yeah. He's right back in. <laughs> so let's go to the past. So this is going to be the influential past. It can be recent. It can be far past. But basically, this is something that influences this issue right here. Okay. Something from the pet. If it's a bear, I'm just going to crack <laughs> up. No, okay, again, okay, we're looking at the high priestess. So the high priestess, oh. uh, again, I want you to think about when you're a kid and your parents are magic, right? Oh, okay. When you're a baby. When you're a baby and your dad can literally disappear by covering his own face. Okay. Right? And your mom makes food appear out of nowhere. Basically, what this is is the high priestess says there are things that care for you and you don't know why. You Crystal don't cares for you, and you don't know why. <laughs> why anyone has ever given you anything that you have? And you don't know what earns you uh, things. Uh, you just know that that there is a power in the universe, and it seems to look out for you. Yeah, I just show up. I tell my stories, and the money rains down. And there it is. <laughs> I don't and know. The money rains down. <laughs> now it's your thing. I must I don't have know. a poncho on. <laughs> I don't know a lot about fortune telling, but the high priestess is standing between two pillars that have B and J on them. It's <laughs> yes! not a joke. That's for real. That is for real. The BJ oh, pillar. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wants to get his wife high enough to give him a blowjob. Yeah. Um, if I am not mistaken, uh, the the they stand for Baal and Jehovah. Okay. Uh, they are uh, oh, yes. between the powers of gods. Uh, okay, like that explains one's dark, one's light. I got uh, it. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the dark one's like bigger. A real bitch. <laughs> Um, the bigger pillar. Uh, so this card again, it's that think about it card. This is the card just to keep in mind. It doesn't right. it fit into any particular place. Think, think about just it. Think about this okay. card. All right. The nine of cups. Okay. The nine That's how of many cups. beers you have at night. Uh, <laughs> White claws. So, so the nine of when you're claws. moving through the numbers in the minor arcana, yeah. you're going through a journey of life. All right. And, and that's another three, the by the way. It's very the three close train to rolling. completion. Yeah, it is. There we go. And again, th- th- that pops up a bunch. Mm. But uh, um, this is the action before completion. This is where you are ready Whale blast. to do something <laughs> in love. All right. In love, in relationships. In, in so, I mean, again, think about all your relationships, mm. not just the, the banging relationships. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, like, you don't have to bang them. Uh-huh. You need to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But, so, but I if don't it want was banging. Blasting me. <laughs> but, I mean, if it was banging, this would be the point where you shake the sand out of the sheets. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. This is the part where you're ready to move on and say, we're done. Go, it is the end of the night. We're done here. Okay. All, right. all right. God, maybe he is ready to pick Here's the game. outcome again, where things are going, if they just keep going this way. Devil, right? devil, devil. Queen of Swords, uh, you will get respect for your mind. No, no, you yeah. will yeah. 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 respect for your mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I this is bullshit. I got the devil. He gets respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His was like, is he going to get respect? Yeah, I don't know. Keep going. Yeah. yeah, you keep going. You keep following the things that you need to follow. Again, you were already told, like, hey... You don't have to do much for things to take care of you. <laughs> things take care of you. Yeah. That's true. That's fucking that is, true. That is fucking true. He's yeah. also a white man in America. Right. I mean, like, I mean, yeah. 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 He's a basic man, and baby. He also transferred the orb to you. Which yeah. would make the devil. That, I'm no. just saying. Look I'm at it. It's all making sense. So all I'm saying, this just looks like it's it, it, like, like but again, this isn't like a real prediction of the future. Mm. This is just a matter of look at your life. If you are wanting respect, you will eventually have it by sharing it with other people. Okay. All right. That's it. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's yeah. ending, ending with respect. Let's Should I do? Should I give me a four? The, the a four? way <laughs> the way I interpreted that particular read was that if you do have success, it'll be by stumbling ass backwards. That's right. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. correct. That yeah. That's, That's my actually, only way. <laughs> That's exactly how <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was the only way. <laughs> I was like, if this actually does something, it's going to be by accident. <laughs> but pure Whoops. luck. Whoops. Respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Am I doing? Am I getting? Yeah, yeah. We'll do Daniel. Which one? am I doing? The four? Yeah, yeah. Let's just do uh, a four. Is that what you want? You want to do yeah, the four? Yeah. A quick four. Do you yeah. want to do the regular deck or do you want to do... I want to do the porno deck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Deck. Wait, I've got two porno decks. I've got what? the... What? I've got the pinups card and then I've got the uh, the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Oh. Uh, I don't know. What's spicier? 
Terror of Sexual Magic. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sexual Put these magic. with those over there, please. Okay. Thank you. All right. Here we go. So, Daniel, tell me a bit about what's going on with you and your sexual magic. Uh, it does not have to be sexual. It's just oh. that that's what the deck likes to think about. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sexual magic, real horny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. got back. Uh, but always horny, never not horny. But yeah. I am having prostate problems. Yeah, okay. Ooh, prostate problems. Okay, it's not affecting. That can come on. <laughs> that's very weird. You think it would? Yeah, yeah, that, it's not. That's where boners come from. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. that's Daddy, not. where do boners come I, from? I, 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 I thought it was. I think of it every night. I don't know. I yeah. actually don't know. Where uh, boners now, come. this one, I, I'm a particular fan of the names. I'm gonna. I'm going to use the book a little bit in this one because this is an Italian deck and they give special names to each of the cards that are unrelated to anything else uh, in tarot. Hey, and they the are the meatball. <laughs> 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 straight up. Like so straight bad. up. Oh. Like it's 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 weird. So, oh, it's so the king of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me four cards. All right. However you give four them to card. me. And, and I'll, okay, I'm going to go here. Yeah, just think that, about those cards. That guy, and then I'm going to go that guy. That guy. And then... This guy right here. Okay. And then this guy right there. All right. You and put him uh, down first. This just first for the listener. Last. Um, last. This is last. Okay. For the listener at home, on the back of the sexual magic tarot card are lizards 69ing. Yes. <laughs> what? That's how you know. I'm not yeah, joking. Not, that is not getting it is for real. Yeah, they're eating <laughs> that it. It is, is for real. real 69ing yeah. lizards. I didn't, right. <laughs> I didn't even know lizards could 69. Hmm. So here we go. First card. This again. This is the issue. This okay. is the thing on What's your mind. Wrong? The thing on your mind is it, these ones are hard to read. I'm sorry. This is seven of cups. So the seven of cups. Oh, seven of sevens are great cards. It's man. my favorite number. Seven. Okay. There you go. So uh, I just want to first of all tell you what they call the seven of cups. They call the seven of cups the magic of the four leaves of mint. Ooh. I don't know why it's called the magic of the four leaves of mint, oh, but guess. it's the magic of the four leaves of mint. Okay. But and okay. this card has a couple fucking with a turtle on the floor nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Your peepee dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not Watching making any of this up. This is all true. Bang in a bathroom. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh. uh, the so the sevens are about the secret weapon. The sevens are about where you realize something important about you and your relationship to love. So this is about your relationship to love. Okay. It is a secret weapon. Mm. The secret weapon about love is usually that you love yourself. That you love yourself first. Oh, more than anybody. And then more than anybody. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. All right. Okay. He's got the gun. He does. He's the most selfish person I know. <laughs> <laughs> How I, I wrote it down. <laughs> is that the issue in your life is that your number one love is you. No, 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 that's no, how that's I would read it. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. No, you can, hold on. You could make an argument that with health issues or things that consume me because oh, yeah. I'm OCD, you can make an argument that I become consumed by those self centered. Oh, no, yeah. OCD is self centric. Yeah, totally, and then yeah. It takes me away, what? Out of the moment, not able to be present with my family. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's follow it. So I don't know. That doesn't sound like you sitting alone in the dark in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for your family to come oh, out of the rain. Please. That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> Let the next card be the two of hips. Okay, so again. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be, uh, again, the influential past. Okay. So so something in the past that affects... Oh, shit. It's the Ross Rollins of... <laughs> oh, wow. It's the magician. Oh, how's, the your, <laughs> how's your relationship with your dad? He's dead. <laughs> He's a dad. Yeah, my, my dad my dad also dead. Yeah, it would Do take you... a magician to bring him back. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Selfish magician. <laughs> selfish magician. Watch me make myself <laughs> How much but but how much do you try to emulate things from the past, old mentors from the past, like like things oh, like all that? The time. All the time. He does yeah, impressions yeah. of his dad. He does his dad every uh, oh, week. Oh, I love my dad. Yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. Tom to keep this the mustache. Is, <laughs> <laughs> mine comes down. I, I kind of do. Yeah. This is about where when you used to believe that other people had all the power and you had none. Like basically that everybody had power over you, okay. oh, and yeah, so yeah, on, yeah. and 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 that is very yeah, influential in going forward. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> so uh, this again, this is just the card to consider, something to think about <laughs> okay. as you go forward. All right, and we are looking at the five of cups. Oh, and oh, I, it's ooh. a man doing cunnilingus on a hold on, on sure. Hold on, I forgot <laughs> right. to tell you. He likes that. <laughs> I do like that. The magician, by the way, uh, they call magic intention, which I'm like, all right, that that one makes sense. Uh, this is the five of chalices, and they call that the magic of the glowing ember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's your prostate. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! 
There's a torch on the notice, bed. It's, all, it's about to set the bed on fire. this guy is is trying oh. to love this woman. She's sort of got yeah, her legs yeah. closed here. No. Five is defeat. Oh. 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 No more pussy for you. <laughs> I knew it was, I knew it was coming. coming. Again, a lot oh. of people, but, but remember, all defeats are also successes. All defeats are also well, learning. Like, not, you know, not when she so tells forth. you to stop going down on her. That's a, that's a hard defeat. That's, yeah, this is is. A, Me dying is only a success for my wife. This is a, this is don't go down on me card. Okay. Uh, oh, like, oh, oh, so, smells like fish. <laughs> Some to hang on to again. I, yeah, no, that that is the hardest. Oh, the burning oh, ember. Harry Potter was mad at me. Like, How the fuck did you say that? <laughs> but now we are going to the outcome. This is where yeah, this, oh, this, this is, is where we all end. This is the payoff. All right. Oh my goodness. So you get the Ace of Pentacles. You are starting a, mon- a, mon- a journey of money. Of the whole- yeah. oh, a journey of money. Oh, oh, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he gets journey. respect, he gets a journey of money, I got the devil. Yeah, yeah. This, is, you, this is the beginning of the journey of money. The problem with the beginnings of journeys, uh, you have the most excitement you will ever have for it, and you also don't have any idea what you need. Right. No concept at all how to get to the end of that oh, journey. Oh, I got it. That, yeah. that, that, that ways going. This is when we sue iHeart for ruining your hips. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Like, oh. We get mowed. Oh. See everything. Oh, you know, you sat down yeah. for too long. Yeah. They, uh, their chairs were shitty. I asked, for, no, they, I asked for a chair, and they said they couldn't pay for it. That's hot. <laughs> hey, yeah, we, okay, you save the email. They destroyed my life. <laughs> so, if I were to read this like a traditional reader that was trying to predict what's going on in your life and like where this is all going, you're about to get divorced. All things. You did give Sam a letter that she's going to read right after yeah, this. Yeah, I do have a <laughs> statement from your oh, wife. Should we read that now? Should we? I do no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> It ties should, in. I call my wife. Yeah, let's put some distance between this oh, moment. No. <laughs> I, I mean, D- Daniel did I'm get it. Serious. He got a letter that yeah. uh, Andrea wrote no, to no, read no, a statement. She did. Uh, you yeah. can get back on Mike now. I think oh, the yeah. reading's yeah. done. Okay. <laughs> the reading is done. Thank you very much yeah. there. Yeah, I'll yeah, move yeah. that chair. Oh, my God. I do, like, traditionally, like, good. the tarot yeah, reader man, won't fun. tell you that you're going to die or nothing, but Trevor, uh, I'm sorry, Ian just comes out and is like, if I were to read this, I'm looking at, but I'm looking at you getting divorced, not not somebody divorcing you. I'm looking oh. at I'm looking at, at at you following a plan of like I'm starting a new life. Oh, I'm starting, he always oh, I always want to do that. He does always. Yeah. yeah, but it, it involves and it might living not be divorced. And I don't, <laughs> it's very sad. I don't mean to, to threaten your family this much. It, it, it's not really a, a you know divorce. What? It's just a, a total new beginning. Maybe you just gonna give up on that fucking scooter. <laughs> That's Holy also Ross. on the list. <laughs> oh my God! It's all coming again. This Friday, Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Ian, thank you, buddy. That was awesome, man. You, fucking great. You, uh, the chat room wants to know if we can get Ian at a BDM event to do readings. Oh, 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 I mean, only if uh, you guys pay him. Uh, you guys are gonna <laughs> yeah, have to, yeah, we have to put Help. some coin in his pocket make this guy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you can book him, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Ianif.com. Yeah. Ianif.com. Yeah. Thank you very much for plugging my... All right. So, yeah, oh, yeah Ian, if you do this at events and things at like that. Yeah. You make so it fun awesome. and you don't sprinkle the mysticism bullshit all over yeah, it. You know, you make it fun. Yeah. But... It, it makes sense that, uh, like, through uh, these cards, you could start t- weaving a tale that fits just about everybody, sure, right? Yeah. Well, the, the, the point of the cards is that basically all of humanity has a little roughly bit of, the yeah. same experiences mm. along these lines, and this is just all of those in whatever order. These are the medieval equivalent of those personality tests to tell you you're an ENFJ. Yeah. Yeah. It just it's, yeah. they, they <laughs> broke everything down into certain archetypical situations and things that can happen to you and put them all in a deck. Well, how many cards? Uh, 70, 72, uh, 77 cards. And then you um, supply it to your brain and see how it fits. Yeah. But the, uh, and, and just to, to add to all of that, in, in the medieval times, they would have only known this as a game of random crap. Like, it was like playing Gin Rummy. It had nothing to do with any sort of divination or anything. It's right, not like until we the 19th did that, century. right? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I had the, always heard that, and uh, I didn't know if that was a, the yeah. fun Golden fact. Dawn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden yeah. Dawn, actually, like, like they did the big work of turning this into a divinator, uh, divinatory tool. In the 19th century, there were some people who started doing it, but it was really before that. There's a guy, there's a wig maker in the 14th century who writes this book where he says, oh, it's from this ancient Egypt, da-da-da, but there's no actual record of yeah. that. It was all just a card game. That it was played. a way to kill time, I yeah. read. Yeah. yeah. And the cards weren't all the same. The characters, rich people would have painters paint 
specific characters for them. And so it was sort of like a Pokemon thing. Like you tried to yeah. collect other people's cards by winning them in the games and so on. Those original Pokemon? And yeah, yeah. Sort <laughs> yeah. Of, that was sort of the way it was done. Like they were trump That's cards so cool, that you could man. win other people's cards. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. This is a hard ask. Maybe we should have a Tom and Dan Tarot deck. Oh man, yeah, yeah, Tom and Dan Tarot deck is a, is a good yeah, deck. That'd be kind of cool. TD, we, uh, we did some cards deck. once before, but you know who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna get Pabone on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, yeah. I don't even think we ever finished it. <laughs> yeah, know, like, I think we even worked on. It. Hey, thank you so much, man. Thank that was you, awesome. man. This is great. This really is appreciate fantastic. that. Yeah. And again, Ian, if uh, dot com, dot com. If yeah. you want to book Ian, um, you've been around in Central Florida. I mean, for he does more than just tarot. So check out his website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys very yeah, much. No, yeah, we no appreciate problem. it, man. Real wonderful. You right. want to take our little break here? Yeah, let's do that. All right, we'll take a little break. The name of the band is the same old. The name of the song is Funky Town Number 2. We'll be right back. <laughs> if you don't know, nigga, now you know, ho. Heard my flow with no joke. Pull up there like, oh, no. Riding in my phone. Sports Subaru right there on North John Young Parkway. It's the brand new dealership. Talk to Mike Stacks if you're looking for a Subaru. Also, Don Mealy Chevrolet. That's in Claremont. DMChevy.com. Talk to J.C. Harrelson. Yeah, man. But Subaru is constantly doing a, events and a bunch of things. Yeah, they're always now. up in the community. You know, they, they just got done sponsoring the College Park Jazz Festival. Well, that's actually coming up November 4th. Um, they're doing the uh, Leuke- Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Light the Night event, but I think they've done that before. Four. Um, they're now they're offering invoice pricing on all of their 2024 Outback models. And if you haven't been by to see the new dealership, well, you absolutely should. You should run by there and absolutely check it out, man, because it is ne- it's, it's second to none. It's yeah. amazing. This Saturday, October 14th, they're doing their pet adoption event uh, with Pet Rescue by Judy. We've worked yes. with her before. They're constantly doing local charity events. I mean, they donated to Yellow Brick Road. And Judy's, if you never met Judy, it's worth the trip to go out there to see yeah. her because she's a character, man. She's crazy. Remember, Sports Subaru also, they have the no dealer fee. They're those guys, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And with that Subaru lifetime warranty, you're getting a really quality brand. Yeah, 100%. So if you're looking for a Subaru, talk to Mike Stacks right there on Sports Subaru North John Young Parkway. Or if you're the Chevy side of yeah, things, uh, talk to J.C. Harrelson and Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. Very dramatic ending to the song. Um, that is The Criticals with Belmont. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, Manscaped.com. If you're looking for a beard trimmer, if you're looking for a trimmer for your downstairs, any hair trimmer whatsoever, uh, Daniel has the Handyman, which is uh, a rechargeable trimmer that you could throw in any dop kit or in your car if you need to shave. It's it so great. small, you could hide it in your ass. <laughs> Whoa. Well, just that. They I don't think lately, they want that. No, lately, Tracy's been telling me that Manscaped really loves my over the top. <laughs> no, the weed whacker's a little more yeah, yeah. butt friendly. Yeah, yeah. Lately, no, Tra- I can feel it. Even though she she doesn't say it in any of the emails, I can feel <laughs> that Tracy loves my and I. You know what? And I feel that Manscaped higher ups. But I feel like nah. Mr. Skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hears what I the say. Mr. Skate. Yeah, he hears this and he's like, you know what? That guy, the whole he put it in your ass. He's like that guy. Oh, That's all some trimmers. Well, I mean, they're the, the 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 UFC guy was my balls is hot. Oh yeah, and okay, I think right. put it in your ass. You know, but they're gonna have to tell people not to do that because there's batteries and stuff. Uh, well, not that one, but that nose trimmer. I mean, he buttholes basically a <laughs> nostril. Yeah. Yeah. the nose trimmer is so Moody good. Nostril. You know, my nose trimmer for Manscaped has only been charged one time. No, really? The, I, if there's any complaint, I would say is you got to put a you know, put a uh, cheap battery. In. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you buy yeah. a new one. Yeah, yeah. I uh, mean, eventually you're gonna live shave that mustache mustache off with a manscape yeah, yeah, product. Yeah, I'll correct? do it when we get back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're on my trip. I'm keeping it you're for keeping the it? desert. You, you want not just for the desert? Because he wants to go horseback riding. You know what we should do? <laughs> you know what we should do for TikTok? I figured him out. I'm willing to do this for TikTok, and it's one of the only gross things I'm willing to do. If you cut that mustache on a piece of computer paper <gasps> no, and you put no, it into a cup and no, fill it up with water, no. I'll shoot it. <laughs> no, no, come on. Yeah. I'll shoot it. And then, no, 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 no. then we'll be blood brothers. And then we'll be blood brothers. And then the show will be better because we'll have The three of us. Yeah. 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 If he can do it, I can do it too, motherfuckers. I'm going to drink your pubes. No, no, no. Man, 
Tom and Dan 20. It's a promo code. 20% off your purchase yeah. and free shipping worldwide. Let's oh. compromise. Just stuff as much mustache up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. If you shave your mustache onto a piece of computer paper, I'll, I'll poof it. I'll, I'll use <laughs> tobacco. I'll hamster finger it into my butthole. We should really put it into a straw. Have Sam blow it up there. That's the only way to <laughs> okay, be sure. We'll put it yeah. in a, you know what we'll do? We'll God put it, it into an earwax. <laughs> we'll put Come it on. into an earwax candle. Yes. And then I'll, I'll light one in and have it so Suck it into my ass. Manscape. Yeah. Manscape. Tom and Dan 20. So, um, for 20% off. Daniel, get you, the handyman. You asked me for an envelope or, uh, earlier on before the show. And <laughs> yeah, because my wife sent me an email that she wanted to, t- to be read as a statement from Samantha on the show concerning our. Uh, After the segment, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I open what, I, look, this is going to work out perfectly, but I didn't plan it that fucking way. I don't. Mm. So, okay, what what is this uh, statement about? It's about what happened to me and my wife last night. My wife had just got back from her trip. You know, I was taking her business care of trip, her yeah. business trip. She was out of, of town for five days, and I was. Are taking, we sure she actually did business, or was she just trying to get away? From no, her? it was like I don't know. It didn't look like a lot of business. At one <laughs> point, she was bar hopping with Christine, and they were watching football in all these famous bars, uh, oh. nice. eating Nashville hot chicken. So I don't know. I mean, I just didn't question it because in other times maybe i've been a little bit like mopey like oh what do you get to do and i was like you know what i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna be a better daniel i'm gonna let her have fun because she deserves it because she works really hard so i realize we make a lot of inside jokes and people may not even know what we're talking about but on monday you went to the doctor we talked about this on the bdm show and then uh when you got back on monday like this is after your wife left on monday morning right or sunday night no she left on saturday morning okay um, and then it was me and May, or yeah, it was Saturday morning, and then it was me and May. Um, and then Monday, I had a really early doctor's appointment for to have um, an MRI on my hips because yeah. my hips and lower back L four L five have been really really bothering me. So uh, when I got there, oh, it wasn't an MRI; it was X rays. So when I got there, it was just to meet with the orthopedic. Uh, orthopedic, he um, they do in house X rays, which is pretty awesome. So they do my X rays. I usually then, get mine out in the yard, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then they uh, they were like, uh, you know, he came in, he does the knock thing, he walks in, and immediately. The first thing he says, he's like, you need a double hip replacement. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or as yeah. I'm calling it, a double thigh pass. I made that up. <laughs> yeah. Double it, thigh pass. I, I, this is serious, Ross. I'm like, I, and when he, I, I made the joke on the BD yeah, show, but serious. I was ex- fully expecting you to be like, ah, x ray the hips, and nothing's wrong with it. Everything's fine. It's all yeah. in my mind. Uh, I felt that. And then he's like, nope, double hip replacement. Yeah. But I was like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. And then it's, those things come with a lifespan, right? Like, like 20 years. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have. Have to in your lifetime probably get another no, double I'll be hip dead replacement. Before that. Like, <laughs> no. They'll put them in and then they'll take mine out and they'll be like, hey, I got three more years. You know, like, it'll be like that. It'll definitely be so like that. So I'm sure then, but that, you know, spiked your anxiety. Oh, without uh, a doubt. Look, I'll and be then honest. Your wife's with gone. You. You're taking care of Maisie yeah. by herself. And then I, uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm doing well. But I, anxiety is that, act, and uh, when you suffer from anxiety and depression the way that I do, yeah, yeah. it is virtually impossible for me to escape at all. Right? You just can't do it. So, am I doing better than I normally would do? Am I concentrating on the things that I can control here and not trying to worry about my, uh, you know, slightly elevated PSA levels of my prostate and the fact that I need a double hip replacement mm. uh, and try to not to stare down the hole of impending doom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. looking straight into the devil's asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Hard to do. Yeah, 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 it's very hard to do. I'm also a pessimist. I'm also OCD. I'm all also right. a somatoform. You know, these are all documented things in my yeah. fucking chart. I'm a hypochondriac. It's a fucking mess uh, over here. We have the, all the cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, all the, the cards. That's why we only did four cards. Only had time. <laughs> so then, okay, I'm just get, you know, yes. giving the audience a, a glimpse into what happened this week. And then, so, Andrew gets back yesterday. We do a wife cast, which is going to be aired next week. Next Friday free Friday show. Friday free yep. show. Yeah, yeah. And then, and she literally got home that day. She got off the plane, she got home, dumped out all her, you know, put her all her clothing away and then came over here to do the wife cast. She'd only been home you know, like less than two hours when we did the wife cast. Yeah. And last night we're getting ready for bed. She'd only been let, let she'd been home less than twenty four hours. I'll let Sam take it from there. Okay. okay. So the whole yeah. I'm gonna so, open this I mean, line right there. This fine. could be divorce papers. No, everything's going fine. She's just gonna like it's no, it's not divorce papers. It's just Sam, I please wanted to call serve her. this to Dan. Okay, before you read this, I'll say this. Before right. you read this, I'll say this. I, I I wanted to call her today on the show. But let's just say, much like when I would call my mom and say 
Hey, Mom, you're on the show. Mm. Remember that? Uh, yeah, Everybody yeah. loved it. Everybody mm-hmm. loved it. Well, Mom didn't really love it, okay? I'm just, just <laughs> you know, being honest with you, Mom didn't really love that. Yeah, yeah. The, and She didn't want to be, uh, like, well, caught like, off guard. Yeah, and... just tell me you're going to call, and then I'll call you. The same thing with Andrea. You know, Andrea doesn't want to just you, me to just call, you know? Like, Andrea doesn't have time for me to, hey, can you stop by and tell the show? Maybe she doesn't think the things that happen are as funny as I think they are. Maybe she doesn't want to use everything that happens in our house as, like, show fodder or something. So is this... I mean, the fact that she came here after she had just flown in that morning. It was really nice. For us. It was really nice. And then to ask her to come in today would have been too much. So now, she this, this morning is, we woke up, we're talking, and she's this, like, I prepared a statement for today. Whoa, I will take yeah. no she said, I prepared a statement oh. for today. I will take no calls. Now we're not really no mad further at questions. Any, yeah, we're not really mad or anything, but she said No, you're still friends. No, no, it's not even I didn't it's even more think like it you was, have two families now, I didn't man. Even think it was that <laughs> bad, but yeah, well, anyway, oh, just read it. Okay, so this is about something that happened yes. last night. Okay. And then I'll tell my side after she tells her side, because this is different. Okay. This is like not something that we've done before. All right. To whom it may oh, concern. Uh, I'd like to make a statement on the events that occurred the evening of Thursday, October 12th, 2023. Daniel and I were getting ready for bed around 9 p.m. as I was extremely tired from being up at 4.30 a.m. to catch a flight home to Orlando. As I walked into the bathroom, Daniel was standing at the toilet for what I assumed to make his final release before heading off to sleep. <laughs> I was speaking with him at this time, but noticed he was not answering me, so I continued to just talk to him and finish my thought. That's what she always does. At this point, he quietly left the bathroom, and I sat to relieve myself one last time. <laughs> All these details. Of, I don't know. If well, they're... she's a writer, man. Yeah. Re- relieve could mean a number of things. I'm confused. I'm confused. Suddenly, I heard a thump slash thud, but did not jump up as I didn't hear a scream or any other noise. At first, I believed maybe Daniel had dropped his phone or something else off the bed. When I exited the bathroom, I found Daniel lying smush faced at the foot of the bed between the bed and the chest of drawers. <laughs> he appeared to be looking at me but was not saying anything. <laughs> I asked him if he was all right, and it took him a moment to respond, but he continued to lay there. Do you Mitch McConnell, dude? <laughs> I was not sure if he was playing a prank on me, stretching, or had an issue. When he finally, quote, came to, I realized he must have passed out and landed as if his face had slid down a window and smushed against the end of the bed. He proceeded to get up, get into bed, and not another word was said. I guess since I am his safe space, he welcomed me home by letting his thoughts finally get to him and passing out as we tried to go to sleep. Imagine then trying to fall asleep, thinking about your husband lying on the floor of your bedroom. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Sincerely, Andrea Dennis. There you go. Oh, my God. So he just fainted. Uh, he, he held it in all week. <laughs> right when she got home, he just fainted. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't do that to her. Andrea said that. Okay, so uh, this is. So why I, did I, that happen? I went in there. And I thought I had to pee. And I do suffer from prostatitis. I got some issues down there. You know, I've had, it runs in my family. I do have some, you know, uh, prostate thing that I'm checking. Yeah, I'm working on it now. I went in there, had to pee. I went in there. This is just, I'm just going to walk you through a real anxiety attack. I went in there and I pulled my pants down, pulled my boxers down and held it. And Andrea is talking to me and I'm listening to her and I'm like, you have to pee, you have to pee. And no pee is coming out. And I'm like, uh-oh, it's that weird urgency that comes with this. And then my mind starts going, well, that's the cancer. Oh, that cancer is it's coming. No pee. Cancer, cancer. And, then the cancer. <laughs> and then it's, you can feel it. And wow, then the that just from not and, yeah, being able to pee. Yeah, and then the anxiety is like, oh, you can't pee because it's can't, you're dying. And then your hips. And then the, can- the cancer's in your hips. It's, metast- <laughs> it's in your hips. It's in the bone. They just looked at your hips. It doesn't matter. I'm just yeah, describing okay. what happens. And then I'm listening to her. And I'm like, uh-huh. You know, I'm like pulling got my pants and I'm I know this is happening and I'm like get to the boy get to the boy get to the boy or I don't I'm not lucky enough to have somebody come over and talk to me and say sir sir you know like uh, I I walk to the bed I'm walking to the bed and I'm like oh and I grab the bed and then apparently that's when I lost I just then I then I smooshed mm-hmm, I slid, slid down, down the bed and I was holding on to like the comforter and then have my mouth like this on the side of the bed so is it just yeah, a... Yeah, spiraling out of control. A, you anxiety yeah, faint? I faint. Uh, I get nauseous, and then I get uh, a rush of blood to my head, and then I get um, hot, and then I instantly break out into a, like, a sweat. Because even Andrea afterwards, she was like touching me. She's like, oh my God, you're so sweaty. I was like, I just like passed out. 
I love the dichotomy of like her just sit, standing there brushing her teeth, talking about like May's gonna get her photos taken at That's dance like, class. Probably exactly what she's talking about. And yeah. then in yeah. your head, you're like, the dick cancer won't let me piss. Like, <laughs> oh, she's right. Yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, it's the Tony Soprano. God. Remember Tony Soprano? No, yeah, yeah. Gobble yeah. Gobble. yeah. I got the gobble ghoul. Yeah. Yeah. I got the gobble I got it. Uh, you do stare at ducks all along. <laughs> I do a lot. Yeah. I love them. I but love then you them. fall in love with your yeah. therapist. So. <laughs> How does this get, get fixed? Uh, that's what my wife said. That's what, oh, okay. In fact, the last no thing fix. she said before we went to bed, because I had therapy yesterday. But I will admit, therapy's it, hard. And sometimes you can go to therapy, and yeah. it's not that you take steps. Not that you're taking steps backwards. I don't want to say it like that. But it's like, you can go through a full day of going to therapy and talking something out. And then when you get home, you're a little raw. you got to sit in it. Okay. Yeah. I'm and so- I think that helped out, too. It was like everything coming together. My wife's home. And I do think there is something to be said about her being here. I was like, oh, my God. I'm so fucking relieved you're home. And then it's... It's like, I'm going to die now. It's like when you get a massage and they release all those knots and shit in your back and you got to drink a gallon of water and you yeah. piss bright yellow. Just yeah, yeah. Bright oh, yeah. Yellow. It's like, it, uh, but my wife said, the last thing she said to me was she's like, and you would think the therapy would help a bit. Oh. oh my God damn. Oh, my God damn, bitch. I'm dying over here. It's, it's like if uh, Fucking dying. someone gets their legs blown off and you put a band-aid on them. <laughs> that, that not doing more. Imagine how bad it would have been with no therapy. <laughs> so, I know. I know. Ross, mm-hmm. tell me what you think about this, because I've been trying to convince Daniel for a while, ever since I watched that uh, mushroom documentary yeah. on Netflix. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you need to fly to where, like, go to Washington or wherever the hell, Colorado, I think, does it now, where they do these mushroom therapies, and then do the mushroom therapy where they give you a, a, a you know... Or a, ketamine therapy. A huge dose. Mega dose. And then the then they, you know, put a, uh, a sleep, sleep mask on you, and then you freak out on the bed, and then you... In from the documentary, people that suffer from a crazy PTSD, anxiety, like a crippling, like life crippling anxiety, yeah. they say in the show, like, after I did this, it got better and then it stayed better. And I don't, and it's supposed to last forever. Give me like yeah. a week's notice. We'll do mushroom therapy in your fucking record room, dude. It'll <laughs> you be can do it right awesome. here for free. Yeah. Cool. I just think, yeah, uh, we, can, it, I, we can get you mushrooms. I'll watch you. It'd be nice I'll if laugh we could. Laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're freaking out. What are you doing the same thing? You gotta lock them in a room. Yeah, I just fall off the bed again. I'm just yeah, laying yeah. on the floor, and oh, Andrea's standing over me. Were the mushrooms I, worth it? I truly believe there is something to rewiring your brain using psychedelics. Like I was listening to an interview with this doctor. It's about a year old now, but she said she was running clinical trials on uh, uh, depression, d- 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 uh, patients with depression yeah. and mushrooms. And she was saying it's like when this trial is complete, it's going to completely revolutionize how we treat this because uh, it works. Yeah, the, the psilocybin, and there's so many different uh, like you know. Uh, records and the studies that have been done that uh, people have been helped to. Yeah. I've not heard a bad experience, right? Like, no, I haven't. I, I, mean, I mean, I used to back in the day, but that was usually people that were drunk taking mushrooms. But, also, I'd like to add, I tried to play this off while I was laying on the, on the floor yeah. clammy, and when she got, I knew she was like... I like it like this, she, babe. Yeah, no, I, I did the thing where you <laughs> hop up real fast, and you're like, okay, got that out of the way. You know, I got a little of that. <laughs> Fucking stupid. The quick it's recovery. Really, yeah, I was just like, ah, all right. Uh, let me go get a drink, you know. In Oops. my experience, Tom, with the mushroom, like goes into your brain and like and expands your consciousness. It makes you feel like more of a part of everything. You like you you know you feel less apart from everything. You mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. that's part of me. Like everything is everything. You get into that mood kind of, and, uh, that, and it helps. It does help. They that's said, how- the scary part though is that honestly. I, I mean, the, the non-jokey part of this is that I could have fallen... <laughs> it would have been funny. Yeah. Too. I could have fallen face first through my entire record player. <laughs> or down the stairs. You know what that I mean? Like, like, I could have oh, yeah, hurt myself real bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm i telling you. what Real would you, bad. Would you contemplate... Uh, my neck's do, fucked up because I think I, I think I, I think I smashed my head on the carpet. The, I think I was like, gang! They also like MDMA therapy and stuff. It's like all like, but the the psilocybin one. But if I get to do this, sense. am I going to be horny? It, it doesn't. Do they let you? It fuck doesn't change on it who you are. Going through it, I think your brain, in the way it describes it in the uh, in the actual documentary, like your brain <laughs> n- uh, almost knows what is wrong and what you want to change, and it only changes that. Like right. it, like. It, the guy who described what was happening. Well, then, based on that description, though, could a monk or somebody who's more plugged into their mind take it and then change things he actively wants to change because he's more in tune with his consciousness? I, I don't know if you have. I, you, know, you know, like the guys that can sit through like being burned. 
Yeah, you know, like I mean, and and on a non like there are guys that can like put their hand in fire. Well, they control their temperatures, right? You know, through like there's Buddhist monks and like even the Wim Hof and stuff, like through breathing techniques and meditation. Like I don't like that guy's name. Can we talk about that for a second? I hate that guy's name. Those guys who can hold their hands over a flame and shit, they have achieved the higher mental state without the drugs. They have like by Mm -hmm. through training and through meditation and other means, they've just gotten to where they can put themselves in that state just by brain power. What if you did this therapy and oh, I'd be so happy. Didn't have anxiety. Oh, I love it. I'd or love it. or it was drastically reduced. Improved. To the it's going to be hard, and this is an, another area. Andrea's in there. I mean, we. I don't know if she wants to call in. I don't think she does. Um, but um, I don't. Th- I think it'd be hard pressed to get her on board because it's so new. I feel like. Yeah, you but know what I mean. She I might mean, be desperate at well, this point. Yeah, no, I don't what else? You I don't don't, I'm desperate at this point. Tradition. You know, like he I said, don't the like therapy this. ain't working. Give yeah. him the mushrooms. Listen. I don't like this shit. Yeah, you're already you know? on. You're, you're on this was medication. a. This was. I'll say that this week was an outlier. You know, like this was a rough one. You Dude, know, this was a hard ass Monday. You fainted before for oh, anxiety. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. You know, like I, you know, I work with you every day. You have anxiety all. You know, you live with this underlying. No, but anxiety. this was a really bad one. Yeah, like this one was like a hundred times higher than it ever is. Because if. If the psilocybin macro dose can help you, I'd I don't be, see I'd a reason to, to not do it. It's just I wish it was easier to find. I wish I didn't have to. Oh, no. I gotta. Your wife says she is up. willing for you to try new things. Yeah, like oh, yeah, I yeah. gotta fly over here. Like I'll, I mean, I'll do it. But it's yeah. just like it's not. Do you see what I'm saying? It's give not me like thirty fucking minutes. I'll get you. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like it's not like there's he a wants guy the, that, the yeah. therapist to be sitting there. We'll have no, to not we'll hire an actress. <laughs> but, no, not <laughs> do it. Honestly, like the therapist, they I'll put a wig on. They give you the mushrooms and some sort of ceremony. Don't I know you? Which, by the way, wigging glasses. Yeah. Why are you wearing a semantics T-shirt? <laughs> the, the fact that they give it to you in some ceremonial Native American. No, I don't bowl. want any of that. Like, no, I want no. medical. Yeah, 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 I seriously yeah, want medical. I, I would do. But it. that's the only non-medical that, for whatever reason, they're like, we're gonna give it to you in the no, bowl. I don't want <laughs> the like, wooden yeah. bowl. Yeah, yeah, just give them the pills. No, and I, yeah, I just give me a shot. I don't yeah. even want the pills. I don't want to do anything. Put it in my arm, man. Yeah. All right, peanut butter, jelly, and mushroom sandwich, and we go to the skating rink. <laughs> that? That's that my actually, proposal. I mean that. Actually, sounds oh, really yeah. fun, dude. I I'm like I'm curious, and only I only if you, you do what do you it. did with your kids that one time. There's a photo that is burned into my brain where you took your kids one summer to get ice cream cones, and then you sat on oh, a yeah. giant coquina rock and ate them. And I was like, that looks lovely. Yeah, yeah, down Tampa way. Yeah, it was take one me of the, to do yeah. that. Okay, all right. okay, and that would be very fun. Yeah. Even ayahuasca is uh, similar, but mm-hmm. with the I'm open to it, with man. the psilocybin. It seems like they've done a lot more uh, medical well, let's studies. Go, let's on start here first. Do you think that we have a list? Listener or somebody listener adjacent that's done that? It, 100%. Maybe somebody in the military that has PTSD that did it? Because There's that a, was the one I was following. The, the documentary. My mother in law has done the ketamine therapy. Oh, really? Yeah, and she said it worked great. It's the, just very expensive. The There's an ayahuasca church in town now. Yeah. Yeah, is. it's been in town for a while. One death, but it's fine. What? Also, yeah. having just a beer one. with Mike is in town. What's that? No, it's like, no, it's, you don't remember having a beer with Mike? It's an old show. Okay. I was making a bad joke. Okay. <laughs> I remember a friend in high school one time took ketamine and he described it to me as a freak out and then he started seeing in 2D. <laughs> but I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> He's like, I saw in 2D. He, and I'm too like, much. I he was in a K hole. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, that sounds terrifying. I had an ex girlfriend well, say, he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an ex girlfriend say she did it and uh, did ketamine and did too much of it and tried anal sex. <laughs> and said oh. it, was, and said it was horrifying. Um, anyway, the, the I, thing about mushrooms that I found is that, like, I, 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 I it was maybe like a year, eighteen months. I, I did a little bit of mushrooms every day, and it just kind of it perked me up. It was like a cup of coffee in the morning, you know. Sometimes yeah, I'd yeah. even like just grind a stem up into my coffee, drink it like that. Like never to the point where I was seeing trails or nothing, but just a little, little microdose, little microdose of mushrooms in the morning. I did it for like eighteen months, and then when I had plenty of mushrooms left. I was like, one day I was like, I don't want that today. And, like, that was probably, like, four or five years ago. I haven't had any mushrooms since. I've got mushrooms at my house right now. I think about it, like, Father's Day. I'll think about it. Like, yeah, I should do some mushrooms. And it's just one of those things, like, I'm, I'm a fucking drug addict. And I have an addictive personality. But, like, at a certain point, I was just like, I love mushrooms. They're fun. But I just, I was like, you know what? That's enough of them for me. They, the, the Maybe that's what they do. Like, they, the people that have described this, uh, like, they did that one experience, and they never went, they never felt like they needed to go back. And then, like, with, I know, like, lots of people have microdose mushrooms. I've uh, done it before. And, uh, and it, it seems like it's like, ah, they do it every once in a while. Or if they do it for a long period of time, it does. 
uh, have like kind of like you're taking citalopram or some antidepressant, but it just lasts longer. Like you right. don't need to continue to do it like sure. a, a regular. Like it seems like it's a little bit more of a permanent reset and not necessarily a having to always be a chemical I, inside your body. Reset. I, I can't see a downfall in trying it. You know, no. Like, I mean, I the only the only problem is it's just not convenient. It's not readily available. It's not easily yeah, yeah. dosed. It's not something that which like, is absurd, by the way, that we you know like. I'm sure there are plenty of people that can email me and give me the knowledge, and I'm certainly open to it, you know, but I just wish it was a little bit easier. I do wish that it were as um, as easy as, like, maybe medical marijuana, right? Like, where I could go, and I could talk yeah. to a guy, and he's like, okay, Dan, you've got these, here's some mushrooms, you need this, that, you know, like, it just you know a what? little bit of knowledge. Me and Big Tim told you about that guy at Brain Spa. I hit him up, uh, and, uh, if, if you, I, I'm just not remembering. I started following him on if you get it, if Oh, you, yeah. If you can do this, uh, edit his name out of that show that me and Big Tim were on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hit up Brain Spa on, uh, on Instagram, and that's basically what he does. It's like, it's, j- he, you know, it's, it's mushrooms, and just the right dose, just a little bit to help you buy. He'll answer questions of course like it's nothing you can get certified in or anything but uh, this guy is the guy who would be certified in it if it was possible to be well, and he can answer any questions you yeah have. i've been listening to some podcasts on it i've been watching the documentary you said on netflix it's uh what is it how to change your mind yeah yeah and it, it doesn't seem like even the people the professionals that put that in quote like the therapists that do this like it they give you the high dose and then they and you lay on a couch bed or whatever and then they sit in the corner and monitor but yeah. you go through the experience like it's not like they're walking you through anything it's just like here we go all right have, like We'll see you on the other side. There is a podcast that I'm listening to, and I haven't gotten to this part yet, so I can't speak on it, but the podcast I'm listening to is a project that a student's doing on uh, psilocybin, and he says he's prepared to show, like, different sides, like the side of this can be a good treatment, and there is another side, I guess, that he talks about. Again, I'm not there yet, where he says that it's not a good treatment. Hmm. And, you know, obviously with his research and for the o- order for this to count as like a thesis or something, he has to like try and e- e- even it out. But I haven't got to that, uh, that section. Of I the trust yet. Netflix. Yeah, I do. Mr. Flix knows. <laughs> Mr. He knows Flicks. what's good. 50 years of hippies can't be wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you're, you said Mr. Flix, which reminds me of somebody that I used to love. And I don't think this guy matters anymore. And I wonder if he's still rich. Mr. Skin. What happened to Mr. Skin? Well, he uh, he had a sweet spot though. He did have yeah. a sweet spot, right? Yeah. He right around this fartogram, Mr. Skin was you know killing it. Well, he He'd go on Howard Stern. Yeah, and he uh, and how did he get around getting in trouble? Like of he taking... still got his website up. Yeah! yeah. Well, he just tell you where the nudity was right. in each movie. No, yeah. I thought he used to host it. You used to be able to join subs- Mr. Skin for four dollars a month. He would I'm have in. like a screenshot yeah. of like whoever's taste yeah, it would. was or whatever. Can we talk yeah. to Mr. Skin? I know it's like well, twenty sure. years too late, but I'm I'm I want to do twenty years too late radio. He, Jim McBride. He, He's Dr. Skin. <laughs> uh, uh, there's still a need for that service. I mean, like, sure, you can go to the internet and Google it, but somebody's got to put that stuff into Google, you know? Yeah. Like, it's not. I find myself still doing that a lot. Like, I do find myself, if there is a celebrity that I see on TV and I find them attractive, the, I, I would say the number four reason I use my iPhone is to search person on TV nude. <laughs> oh, Anybody well, nude. I search every celebrity. Do you nude. want to advertise on MrSkin.com? Oh, shit. I sent a reminder about a nude celebrity to Tom last night. That's how horny I am. <laughs> I sent a uh, reminder to Tom about a nude celebrity. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember to do shit for the show that's important, but I can remind He's him. He's like, don't forget to look this up. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I was, and like, I was like, all right. Yeah, he was like, that's this is why this guy's a professional. I have the old man thought every once in a while, like, you know, you see a new actress come across TV or something, I'll be like, man, if this was the 90s, I'd get the maximum with you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> they got everybody. Yeah, they, got, <laughs> they got Melissa Joan Hart. Everybody, and dude. And she's, friend, she's friends with our buddy Logan. A lot of people came out at like recently. I think there's gonna, either going to be a documentary about it or something about saying how like a lot of their publicists and stuff and like the the studio companies like pressured them to do that, and a lot of them did not want to do that. Oh, no, the, really? Like, yeah. The sexy photos, yeah, yeah. yeah. To like promote a new movie yeah. or a new album or whatever. Yeah, I, I, there was a lot of tension in that uh, in that shoot for. Uh, they all looked uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that coyote, yeah. that coyote I, ugly shoot was. There's a lot yeah. of tension. Yeah. When Carrie Byron did it from MythBusters, uh, I blew my goddamn yeah. socks off. <laughs> Whale blast <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it I can imagine that. It pro- life. <laughs> she probably yeah. didn't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Myth yeah. Buster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When oh, you, oh yeah. When yeah. you look. <laughs> 
Man, Ross right, well. cracked himself <laughs> up. <laughs> you know what? Well deserved. <laughs> Fucking well deserved. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> uh, Ross, uh, what do you want to do today? Do you want to do some? Yeah, uh, yeah. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. I got some news for you, but I didn't really pull it up. I was so into that tarot card. Oh, right. Yeah, that was fun, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we, we'll give you some time. Want to okay. play some uh, Ross yeah, news yeah. intro? Yeah. You want to do the? Hold on. Yeah. I haven't played it in a minute. I got to yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah. And don't forget, if a uh, new tactical nuclear weapon is used anywhere on Earth during the news today, you get a free T-shirt from Tom and Dan. Yeah. yeah, you know, we got new ones, too. All right, here we go, folks. Ross's piece of shit news. Speaking of merch, we do have a merch sale. Dollar fifty nine T and D earrings. There's only ten pairs left. Are those uh, the Puerto Rican baby they earrings? They are. Yeah. They are. There's only ten left. We ordered, we ordered a lot. Dude, of them. they went through them. Yeah, we ordered uh, who those uses before that? the pandemic. We ordered <laughs> they them. Turn your ears green. Yeah, they really will. Just for St. Patty's. Day. Unless you're a Puerto Rican baby, they yeah, seem yeah. to work out pretty well. Oh. Latin babies. I mentioned that the other day about how I do like that. I've I've always liked that. I like the fact that Puerto Rican people have a baby four hours later. It's literally <laughs> dressed to the one thousand. Yeah. It's got so, a full Kenseyetta outfit on, earrings. <laughs> it's got a ponytail. I'm like, where'd you get the ponytail? I want to see them uh, pierce the ears in the womb. <laughs> like, like, oh, feet, is, feet is piercing. I, so it comes out. You know what? We can do a fake website for that and actually get people <laughs> to buy it and and so, and like you know schedule that for one hundred percent. Full on Phil Hendry. All right, Ross. What do we got today? Oh, Tom, uh, this week uh, in news, you lost the race to EJ, yeah. uh, and uh, you also lost another competition you may not have been aware of. Uh, it was, they picked a winner, Alaska's Katmai National Park. Uh, they do it every year. Tom, you lost Fat Bear Week. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? They, uh, every hey, year, yeah. they, they pick, uh, they, I guess they got like cams out in the park or whatever, yeah. and they, uh, they put up pictures of some fat bears in their park, and you get to vote on it. This year, 128 Grazer, a defensive mother bear, first time winner of Fat Bear Week. Yeah, Andrea <laughs> has been following Fat Bear Week for like 10 years, I feel like. It, it, fat, like the bears are Yeah, fat? because they're stoking up for oh, the winter. Okay. You know, so they get, they, they eat, 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 and then they take photos of them with all the cameras and all the people out there, and you submit the photos, and then they pick the fattest or best looking fat bear. All right. And we're, you know, this is, uh, usually I have news more thought out, but we're just going through my email list of news. I like Fat Bear Week. Uh, they, and they do like a little, uh, like a boxing kind of summary for it. <laughs> she beat a bear named 32 Chunk, a larger bear, uh, and the, the, <laughs> They, they announced with a tweet, the gutsy girl grounded the guy with a gut. 32 Chunk proved his prominent posterior was worthy of a whopping win. But in the end, Chunk got grazered. That was written by ChatGPT, guaranteed. <laughs> so, you can tell when people are using ChatGPT now because ChatGPT Ch- G- so. yeah. Chat will start putting emojis in now. Yeah, yeah. But too many of them. It like goes like way heavy. Can you tell when I you're can. reading an article now that's written by Chad yes. GPT? 100%. It's, it's, it's all just a bunch yeah. of nonsense. It's a there's bunch no, of fluff. Well, there's no I use it for our notes yeah, because yeah. it's funny, but like yeah. it does a decent job with our notes, yeah. actually. But like for uh, articles, it'll. Yeah, I hate it. Have you seen some, like, and nowadays, because everybody has an iPhone or some sort of smartphone, there's so many more videos <laughs> of bear attacks. And there's one of this guy, and he's on, like, what looks like a mountain, and the uh, the the grizzly bear is coming oh, up. It's a grizzly, and is trying to eat him. And he's screaming for his yeah, life. Grizzly he's like bears scare the fuck out of me. And man. and this guy filmed this. Uh, and he's basically trying to get up the mountain and it's like sw- swatting at him, trying to bite yeah. his legs to pull him down. Like yeah. he's inches away from being eaten, and then he finally like scares it away or whatever. And it is terrifying. It's yeah. like, ma- like can I find it? Yeah, oh yeah. If you look at like uh, it, it's like a younger guy. He's like uh, on a trail or something. I'm not sure if uh, he was hiking or whatever, but um, it is. And I am afraid of this when I go hiking. It, it, like, Just bears in general. It's very rare. Yeah. Um, no, I know. I've never seen one. But it does. And then I saw one of like some kids walking down uh, like a path, and a grizzly bear just like casually walks by them, and they're holding their bear spray, and they're just act, like just be, staying calm. And the damn thing is 900 pounds, and it just walks past them out of it. And it's and they, it could easily oh, eat yeah. you alive. Oh. And they do. So they'll eat you alive. That's the scariest Last part. Last week, Canada's Banff National Park, uh, t- a couple eaten by bears. Doug Inglis and Jenny Goosey, both 62, killed by a grizzly bear. A uh, bear that attacked him was an older female with low body fat for this time of year. Two cans of bear spray found on the scene. Uh, the food was all hung appropriately. They were on a... They were on a Week long trip in the backcountry, eaten by a fucking bear. God, that's oh, terrifying, man. man. Oh. 
Oh, oh their dog God. also killed in the attack. You know what would be the oh, worst? They got oh, their the dog dead. Yeah. Yeah. Run away, dog. You idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot. It's eating the humans. Yeah. You got a chance. Like, I, also, that how is the get, thing how to get the is. How did it get the husband, wife, and dog? Like, you think one of them would I think run. they jumped in front of him. Do you, I think this is suicide. Do, do you think they got a message out on a uh, on a Garmin GPS uh, 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 communication device? The message said, "Quote bear attack bad." <laughs> you know that, that's one person. Oh. That was one person that did that while he knew his wife. His wife's out there screaming. And he's like, "Oh shit!" Okay, and he's okay. typing it out as the bear's dragging him out of the tent. It's horrifying. God damn! It's like a horror movie. That is. Uh, it, oh that, my god! Do terrifying. you run as it eats it? Wi- eat your wife, or do you try to fight the? Uh, well, yeah, how are you gonna fight a nine hundred no, pound you, grizzly? You go, well, she's dead. I gotta try and fight her, like save her corpse. Well, no, so no, no, I'm no, going no, to, no, or do you run? You're like, I loved you. Yeah, yeah. What have What have you got to live? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, uh, that's. I throw my dog at the bear, <laughs> and the one, and then I run with my wife. Sargo says only fourteen percent of grizzly attacks are fatal. Really? Yeah. Uh, that must be a lot of like l- missing limbs. No, I think I they. Imagine. I think they get scared. They'll attack you, and then they get scared away because there's still an animal yeah. that's that doesn't want to do this. But it, like me when I used to take my dad's porno tapes yeah. out, I'd get scared <laughs> like, and I put them right back. It's, it's not, I'd feel like nope, not tonight. Then your dad would bite your limb off. <laughs> You're not a natural predator or anything or prey, so it's probably you know like uh, it rarely eats you. Uh, yeah. But the, sometimes I mean it does. I can't I imagine that a delicious it, fish it, would be better, right? You're standing in the ice cold water. You're eating a fish. Is better than a human screaming in pain. <laughs> I don't know sushi or a 62 year old Canadian. What do you? I'm gonna, I get sushi. Yeah, pressure, I get sushi. Pressure. Yeah, yeah. You know, the 62 year old. You gotta taste all the chemicals in the body. You gotta taste all that. You taste the celebrex. Yeah. It, if it was like a lion or a tiger, they bite your neck to kill you first. Oh my! And, but a bear doesn't. Dude. It starts eating your feet first. Like you know what I'm saying? It just yeah. will eat you slowly. And it gives you enough crazy, time man. to type bear attack. Bad. <laughs> oh man! You know, like because it's eating your feet. There's a Reddit. Uh, nature's mad. And like every week I, or so, I, I there's an there. there's an antelope being eaten alive by some lions, and it's it's brutal. It goes it's oh, like this little God. head just twitching, is looking around trying to be like, what's going on back there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this is bad, isn't it? It's bad, isn't it? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh, you don't have to worry about any wildlife while you're sleeping in this tent in the desert, right? I never looked it up. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never worry about anything. <laughs> so I just I thought that it, there'll be a sign if I have to yeah. worry. You know, they'll post something. Well, or they're on the uh, desert, right? Rattlesnakes, coyotes. Lions, Spiders, yeah. bobcats. I am not worried about bobcats. bobcats. American black bear. <laughs> I can fight a bobcat, no problem. <laughs> like it'll moose. It'll, moose will stomp you. Yeah, good. moose will get you good. No, well, yeah, but no, it, but it'll just horn at me. But it's not big horn eat sheep. Me. No, once they knock you down with their horns, they use their their <laughs> hooves to stomp your <laughs> penis flat. They stomp your ass. They literally, yeah, they they stomp you so flat where you just become like hamburger mush. Yeah. Did Tom oh. learn anything from the race? With EJ, no, he just said he could outfight a bobcat. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes. I the bo- you know, spot. I've seen a bobcat. You, yeah. just, tiny. You literally just fought a 42 year old obese <laughs> man and lost. <laughs> I didn't fight him. He was swimming. He was a goddamn grizzly. A bobcat. You I, fought a grizzly bear. I swam against one. Anyway. I could pick up a bobcat and start slamming Eat it. it. Uh, you know, it would tear me. Uh, like it's three yeah. feet long. A oh foot and God. a half of that is claws it'll, and it'll teeth. It'll tear your mustache off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll man. scratch me up good, but I'll uh, at the end of the day. Yeah. I will be slamming. I'll be if it. I'll be, how big are bobcats? Yeah, I'll be, I don't, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> like I'll be, be. I'll be slamming its uh, entire body against the floor. <laughs> I, 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 you, know, you ever had like a? <laughs> you ever had like a cat just scratch you with his claws? Yeah, he used to fight the mambo eyeball cat in his uh, mother-in-law's garage. Now imagine that cat had steak knives instead of claws. Yeah. Like, oh, I got pretty spears. Look up human versus bobcat. <laughs> human versus I, bobcat. I, I, well, I don't think that's the most dangerous thing out there, right? What is the most do we know? No, like a hold on. Lion. If you're just going to beat up Bobcat Goldthway, this bet is off. <laughs> I just listed I'm, a bunch of things that could have killed you in the I, desert. I, I think a mountain That's lion I mean. has gotten people before, but uh, you, listen, you got a far better chance. A grizzly bear, I think it's either it 14%. leaves you alone or yeah, or, yeah, <laughs> or it eats you in the worst possible way. Um, I am worried, especially like I. Oh, uh, dude, you were going for the wrong hike. I just found the most dangerous hike in the Moab. It's called what? Chicken Corners. Oh, okay, I'll go on that. Oh, those yeah. chickens are yeah. fucking chicken vicious corners. too. Yeah, we, we, chicken corners. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't get the damn permit for the most dangerous or the uh, fiery furnace. Or you can do cliffhanger. You can uh, do the cliffhanger. That's where Arnold Schwarzenegger had that hot girl with the short hair. <laughs> oh, really? From what was that movie? Sh- th- that show she was from. Where she played an attorney, a Jag. Remember Jag? I never watched Jag. I do remember Cliffhanger. And Jag. It was the girl from Jag. 
Yeah. Oh, me and my dad used a high five over her. We're like, oh, yeah, Jag, Jag's on. Um, my dad's joke for Jag was, he's like, I can even watch it on mute. Titty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what else we got, Ross? All right, this is an update. I believe we talked about this story before. Uh, Jenny McBride, uh, she sued Lady Gaga recently. You might remember uh, somebody shot Lady Gaga's dog walker, stole her two dogs, and Lady Gaga yes. Lady Gaga offered a half million dollar reward, uh, no questions asked, quite clearly stated, and uh, this lady brought the dogs back, tried to claim the reward, and um, and Lady Gaga balked because this lady was involved with the fucking crime to begin with. Yes. So uh, uh, Jenny McBride sued Lady Gaga for uh, the reward plus $1.5 million in damages, and a judge told her to fuck off with that bullshit. Oh, no, really? Yeah. See, I, uh, we- she argued she was just making sure the bulldogs were returned safely. Uh, uh, her lawyer said uh, Lady Gaga committed a breach of contract and fraud by not paying up like she said she would, and a judge just threw this shit out. Good. Well, you know, you go. w- remember when we asked Mo about is like the reward? Yeah, are uh, you obligated? Uh, uh, yeah, binding, and yeah. It, as it apparently is not that. That that's why I said like when yeah. if you. That's dr- why I never pay for any sign I put up <laughs> in any town. I'm like a lost dog, five hundred dollar reward. People bring it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> well, just put up a huge amount. Yeah. Like if you lose a dog, put up a ten thousand dollar reward. Yeah. And then if you get the dog back, most likely you won't. Even lie further. Go ten thousand dollar rewards reward sponsored by, and then write something. Charity, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And or something they, with kids. People will believe it. And they bring you your dog back. Then there's no recourse to that yeah. person, and you get your dog back. And then no, you, then you, you know, say the charity you, will be giving you the check soon. If you want to, you can give them a couple hundred bucks uh, just to be nice. But uh, you, know, you know, of, of everything I've ever returned that was lost, I've never received a reward. Well, most I feel like most people have never gotten a reward back from some missing item. You know, like uh, I I know that uh, sometimes you know people lost find wallets. I found people's IDs before. Pe- most of them people are like upset for some reason. Like you bring, I've had like yeah, t- um, here's your wallet. You like, stole it. Yeah. Great, thanks. You <laughs> yeah, know, like, yeah. Yeah. I've gotten yeah, that before. I, you know what? That is, is absolutely weird. correct. I found no. a guy's ID and I hit him up like on Facebook about it, and he but he was basically like, I already ordered another one. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Well, well, remember well, the, all right. Yeah. Hey, Merry Christmas. Remember we found that drone at the Air T and D, and yeah. that guy was happy, and he he okay, thanked us. That's because I was stolen. That's a good <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you were somebody stole the drone, I'm happy as fuck. Exactly. I give you twenty dollars. Uh, but right. that's what that's stolen too. So uh, her and four others got arrested for uh, you know uh, charged with being accessory to murder because this dude. You know, uh, accessory to attempted murder because they shot this dude. That's right, oh. they did shoot him. Uh, yeah. She she got a plea deal, pleaded no contest to receiving stolen property. She got two years probation, and then uh, she denied the whole time being involved with the theft, saying she only took the dogs to give them back to Lady Gaga. And then the judge though says uh, she couldn't claim the reward because she has quote unclean hands that prevent her from profiting from her actions end quote. So basically, it's like this is bullshit. <laughs> Some bullshit. Yeah. yeah, it's illegal. You were implicated in the crime. Yeah. Also, you have some balls to sue Lady Gaga after. I, like, I do like that though. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of funny. Fuck, fuck well, it, right? Yeah, like, try it. Yeah. What were the one million dollars in damages? <laughs> like, like, uh, she, like, I had to almost kill someone for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you put it that way, it's worth about a million dollars. Um, you got another story, Ross? Dude, this is fucking wild. I forgot about this one. Uh. What? Boy, America gets a rap for our crazy people. Uh, Britain, right? Uh, this guy, basically, kind of like the um, the uh, uh, crocodile expert, right? Uh, I don't even know if I want to do this story. Jesus Christ! No. <laughs> this guy got arrested. I think he just got sentenced. Um, he has a sadistic sexual interest in animals. They basically caught this guy with a bunch of videos of uh, him and animals. Yeah, mm. he uh, he he's a crocodile. Though, because, hold That's on. crazy. No. This dude's oh. fucking crocodile. And if you're able to bugger. do that, and Florida law yeah. says that that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I think if, sure. you're, if you're tough enough to fuck an alligator, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think even the yeah, I think you're all right. He had a shipping container on his property, recording equipment. He called that's it. That's why I keep my fucking gators. <laughs> he called called it a torture room, and, oh, he, and he would put good. this footage online. Forty two dogs. Oh, uh, thirty nine died. 
Oh, oh my this God! Guy must be a size <laughs> king. <laughs> 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 it's so big. He's big. We're having such a fun Friday. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I killed this you. is this is the problem with just going through my email because yeah, like because I was like a week and a half ago I was you. I was fucking baked. I had a whiskey in hand. I was like that'll be funny on Tom and Dan. That guy fucked forty two dogs today. Not funny. Oh my God, man! My bad. Oh hey, I got a different dog story. Yeah, the tarot cards didn't see that. We didn't read. Uh, Ross. Holy uh, shit, it's the, the 40, right, Ross. It's the 42 of dogs. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what are we going to do? Hey, let's switch it up. Uh, oh. Biden's dog bit another Secret Service agent. I must, <laughs> have, oh, I, crazy. I must have been a bo- dognews.com. Yeah, <laughs> so, for real. <laughs> you know, if that were a British yeah, dog, it'd be fun. The bear right ate now. the dog. <laughs> then you go. <laughs> Commander, uh, two year old German Shepherd, he, uh, 11th time the dog has yeah. bitten a guard at the White House or the Biden family home. All right, and uh, yeah. I think it's one of two dogs. I remember reading this story. Yeah. I think he has another dog yep. that also Correct. keeps biting. That one's called Bitey. <laughs> Bitey, yeah. Bitey, Bitey. It's Bitey Bitey. Bitey. It doesn't know where it's at. The <laughs> <laughs> dog fell down the steps and bit. But I said, and then the la- last night in the story says they're sending him to a British crocodile expert for retraining. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Oh, man. <laughs> to, to go from, uh... <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you didn't even I will, know where to go. I guess I'm laughing. I All will right. remind everybody of my uh, bestiality is okay bestiality. scale. Bestiality. <laughs> if you have sex with an animal that can kill you, yeah. and uh, Tom Van's bestiality scale, that it, is considered okay. okay right? Yeah, like, like you, you don't want to fuck a cow. You don't want to fuck a dog. Yeah, yeah. The do- and you don't want to fuck a sheep. Like, I'm saying, like, yeah. uh, lion. Yeah. A tiger, what about a, snake? Oh, yeah. a snake? That's oh my! Like, I feel like no. it's a gray area. This well, snake. if it's a giant anaconda, okay, you can put your dick in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What yeah. if I give a manatee like a knife? <laughs> <laughs> EJ took his pocket knife out before he swam. <laughs> All right. That's um, a... let's do got? this band. This is like I think it's like my pick of the week. This sounds like um. Every band in the 90s and early 2000s that I liked, it kind of has like a throwback sound. The name of the band is Millie. The name of the song is Grab the Wheel. We'll be back with more Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after this. one 844 show at tomandan.com for emails. We'll be back with Dump Em Out and ease ourselves into some vacation time. GuardianWaterServices.com. We've worked with Guardian Water for a decade now, yeah. and uh, we both have RO systems. Sam's got an RO system in her house. Uh, we've got an RO system in the studio. It, it truly spoils you, man. Like, it yeah. really spoils you. Like, I even like it better than some bottled waters where they add back in flavoring or they add back in minerals. Yeah, yeah. You can taste all that garbage. I don't want that. Just yeah. give me pure, delicious water right out of my little RO tap. Yep. They install it underneath your sink. It takes, the, like, 15 minutes for yeah. the guy to do it. You could hook it up to a refrigerator. Yep. I did that, and now I got RO ice so it's that amazing. I have RO water and ice coming Well, that's out how of you get the fancy ice. Like, if yeah, you're yeah. one of those whiskey men and you like the perfect ice cubes, well, you yep. gotta use the perfect water. Or if you want a full conditioning system for your house, so basically, condition the water that's going into your house, takes the calcium and everything out of it, uh, so that you shower uh, all your dishes, your washing yeah. machine. You could use less expensive soaps and um, talk to them, because they'll to show you how much money you could save in just soap yeah. because you don't have to buy the commercial soaps because you're working with now purified clean water. Yeah, and Guardian's yeah. been working with, I believe, Westinghouse for the last, like, six, eight years, something yeah. like that. Uh, top quality, a company that you can trust that's been in business for a very, very long time. Yeah, so whether it's a full conditioning system in your whole house or an RO system like we all have here, it's GuardianWaterServices.com. This is NPR. Um, what was that? <laughs> that is, uh, I really enjoyed that. That is uh, that's Say Ya Gray with the song Annie Pick a Flower. And uh-huh. uh, yeah, it's out there, man. It's weird. It's like some hip hoppy shoegazy, weirdy kind of a uh, vibe out. Smoke some weed. All right. You know, eat it. Like read somebody. a bunch of dog news. Yeah, yeah, read some dog news. Hey, welcome back to the show. A mediocre time. Tom, Dan, Sam, uh, Ross. Um, so, want to do some dump them out? Yeah, let's do. Let's do the dump them out stuff. Uh, go. 
Dump them out brought to you by Injured on the Go. Just call Mo. Just call Mo.com. And I got a lot of Mo fridge magnets on my fridge, but that one he put out today where he is the clown from It is where I'm drawing the line. <laughs> yeah, that is no. too creepy. I Mo, I love you. One. I got the Mo pinhead on my yeah, fridge right now. Yes. I'm not putting Pennywise Mo on my fridge. Okay, That's too creepy. I like that. That's cool. So uh, the first thing we have written down on Dump them Out it happened today. And uh, this, okay, so we were recording some warm up a show that we're actually tacking on to the end of Wife Cast. Yeah, um, yeah. We're never not recording. No, no. Like, <laughs> yeah. We've figured right. out a way. Yeah. 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 By the way, uh, it's like either when the mics go off, it's literally go to your corners and tie, get the fuck of work. <laughs> and then we come in here, it's like, talk, you fucking bitch. Do the joke. Hey, fucking pass out. Tell your pass out story. Fucking do the adventure. We're on the adventure. You be paranoid. Paranoid. Content, content, content. Do it. You fucking the dogs. Fuck the dogs. Oh, fuck them dead. So we all, uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to be off next week, so we're not doing live shows, but we have full slate yeah. of every single show yeah. we normally would do. Yeah. Uh, it's going to air Missing next nothing. week. Missing nothing. So the BDM My show. My wife everything. is so excited to be on the radio, dude. <laughs> we have I, a, oh, a string of job. go-to shows for our corporate time. Yeah, so she did a great job. Next week, we're doing a, a all house go-to shows. We started with Daniel's house, then we go to my house. Yeah. Then you we went to, to Daniel's house? Yeah, yeah. That was one of our studios. <laughs> What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. you've yeah. done shows from there. No, but we, we did walk- all 17 floors. Yeah, we walked yeah. up every floor. We even went to the helicopter pad. We walked around up there, smoked we a saw joint. A we went haunted rocking chair. We yeah. went to Sam's house and did a show in her studio. They basically made me do my show. That was <laughs> my favorite one. She does a podcast there. Yeah. Yeah. It shows it come is so from nice. there. My yeah. God. We yeah, sat yeah. down. Her husband had cleaned the studio. It was like, yeah. he sat down in tiny shorts. We went to Seth's house. We uh, did. He, he had a bunch of dildos yeah. and knives out of He was also making his. He put us in his flooded basement. Yeah. Fucking uh, look like somebody had done surgery down like and then, Saul. And then he had his pregnant girlfriend. She's like yeah. getting ready. He's like going to work. You Why know? did he make her do that? <laughs> yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't but know. then we went to Ross's backyard and yeah. did a show. And then we I got to see the gym. We got to see the gym, yeah. man. And uh, the what is it? The pergola? What do you guys call it? So, his wife Bill. Axe throwing yeah. target. Yeah. So we're recording this, uh, you know, the third segment of next Friday show, and we went a little long, and then I forgot that I had a meeting uh, with the Orlando History Center. I was yes. giving y'all the roundup. She y'all was. were going yeah. on and no, on. Yeah, <laughs> well, the Orange County Regional History Center. Correct. Uh, Theyhistorycenter.org. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. It was called the Orlando History Center, yeah, but yeah. it's the Orange o- County. Orange County. Yeah. Orange County. Uh, Orange the County. Thehistorycenter.org. And um, we were talking to them about our uh, Halloween special that we do we're going to do it at the history center i'm anyway, excited for yeah. that one so of course uh, we're, uh sam reminds me like your meeting is at 11 it's She's 11 like, to get you to your meeting yeah so then i run over to my which desk which i did not know yeah. it was a video call or i probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this probably wouldn't they're have happened. all video calls we're in 2023 and, and so, then i passed out i fell over so <laughs> of course i have like i go and look at the link for the first time at that very moment two minutes late to the meeting and it's some like uh, interface that Web- New, like a web that I've never it's used. WebEx plus plus. You, all, you, all you heard was, oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's going yeah. on in there, people? Yeah, yeah. And because then we both ran. He's in. like, it's a new platform. Yeah. It's not Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Well, first he couldn't find the email. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, he's like, like I can't it. find the link because I just figured out how to use Zoom <laughs> from the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> As of 2023, he's just on that. Hey, I got Zoom down. Yeah, yeah. I just got it well, down. Zoom and X. Yeah, yeah. Zoom and X. He's yeah, got X too. He's good on X. And then, so of course, I'm like, I'm downloading the new app. Of the you know the whole thing. Web- it was video. like a WebEx thing, and then I have to you Did enter you my need an app. It wasn't just a yeah, link. no, it needed an okay. app. Oh, yeah, 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 I have yeah. to download the app, and then I, have I mean, to had he email. read the email that came through sure. weeks ago, yeah, yeah, he yeah, would yeah. have just Great. said, you know, oh, yeah, I this need has to been prepare. set up for even checked in yeah. thirty minutes earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was he could have done it theoretically while we were doing the show. I mean, Tracy checking in. She said, "I text you at nine thirty to remind you that it was a link." Yeah, I tried to prepare you. I don't look at anything until I have to do it. Yeah. Like right then, just do it. 
Anyway, so then when I finally, but by the way, everybody was already in the meeting, like oh, yeah. all the higher ups. They were on time. Up. No shit. All those business people were on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With really, yeah, yeah. with really nice setups too, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. ring lights. They had like their camera yeah. ready to go. Mr. History was <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, and, and so, he never comes up for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King and, of Orange County. And then so when I finally, and they're all in the boxes, and then my box is empty, obviously. Yeah. So I, I get in there. Well, first, first they go. I think he's on mute. <laughs> Yeah, you are, you are oh. So I pop up. It just has Tom, but and then it's they did gray the box. worst thing you can tell. You heard him go, "Hey guys," yeah. and nobody responded. <laughs> and then he, he did the he got the worst compliment that a person that just grew a mustache should be respected can get when they go, "There he is." Because <laughs> <laughs> finally his camera yeah. popped on, and he, for yeah. whatever reason he leans into the camera, and now he's got that dirt stash because he can't just, see. <laughs> he can't disgusting. see, and he didn't yeah, want to yeah. put his glasses on the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what there I, he is. Here's the guy. There's so, the guy. So it's just a giant, like I'm leaning, I'm leaning so far, and it's just me with yeah. my mustache. And then all, the only thing showing in the background right above his shoulder is you know the painting like? of Big Dick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I forgot to you know take off like? the wall. You look like a guy staring into the porthole of his dog torture's chamber. Oh. <laughs> we got to move the painting. Yeah, 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 no, the yeah, good yeah. thing about Pink Well, I can do it. Uh, pay, like, you can do it from for, anywhere. Yeah, I should have done it. Why pay, didn't you do it you right here? You never do. You always do it at Why your desk. Why didn't you do it right here? You can do it right here. The you know you can use your camera. We can use your nah, camera no. from this studio, and you can use your That'd headphones a plus a microphone, and you'll sound crystal clear. The good thing about pig tits is, like, it's such a brutal painting. There's really no reason to have it on your wall, except for if maybe it's, like, really famous person painted it. So, like, it, people right. are just going to assume it's <laughs> it famous looks, art. You know what it looks like? It looks yeah. like an Epstein painting, like the one of Bill Clinton in <laughs> the dress. Yeah. Sure. Like, yeah, you... Yeah. And plus, with the mustache and the way you were leaning in with the painting, you look like a guy. And this is the one of the worst guys. In Jackie business. Treehorn. No, you know what you're <laughs> he looks like a guy with a sexy office, and we know that guys oh. that have sexy offices are creeps. You look like a creep. Oh, yeah. dude, uh, yeah. sexy office. Mm. You know, you have like a sculpture of a woman, like a woman's tits or a vulva. You have like a vulva. <laughs> you have like a full sculpture of a vulva oh, or a, like a I don't know. Remember the IT crowd that show? The uh, yes. boss was crazy, and one of the ways they indicated that was because he had that 80s picture of a lady at the um at the tennis net hiking her skirt up like yeah, yeah. that was yeah, yeah. in his office framed i think there's some business like psychology behind that because when you have like sexy paintings yeah. in your office like i'm pe- bullying you with my sexuality pe- people are <laughs> yeah. like uh like yeah they're like taking back this guy the- fucks yeah and they're also like put off by it and they're yeah. nervous and then i think you get the business advantage with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you keep people on their toes <laughs> yeah. you make them uncomfortable you can take advantage of them them. Anyway, so we've lost that glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, no, not now, let's at least but do in the, the future. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, uh, they'll get that. They'll get through that, they'll get and then that. they'll be like, "Wait, well, uh, we've had yeah. enough. We've allocated the funds yeah. differently." They, they <laughs> usually do the thing where they're like, uh, "I'm sorry, your contact's no longer here. You've lost your connection." What are the odds one day that that painting will be hung up inside? Well, I heard Orange County. County. I heard yeah, they actually wanted to put it into the Basquiat exhibit. Yeah, it is an original Basquiat. That's a joke because a lot of those were fakes. Yeah, all of them. Most of them. Yeah. Yeah. Media, the media, they just stop paying the invoices. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah. after two, That's I'm like, true. I know. I'm like, dude, they're yeah. like way late. You yeah, might yeah, want to yeah. hit like, them up. They're never coming. It's <laughs> media. Sometimes they come back. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We can't believe when they come back. Um, uh, what's the name? Yeah, what Jiffy else? Feet. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, you know, every once in a while, I'll scroll past an article and... and yeah, because you're looking for videos. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll see an article and then I click on it because I'll like, oh, this is some show content I better talk about. I better it. do some words. Um, and uh, so the article was headline was like Florida terms that other people in the country have never heard of and don't know about. And so I was like, oh, this is something we could talk about. Uh, most of our listeners are from Florida or yeah. whatever. And then uh, it goes on to talk about the term Jiffy Feet. Ross, have you ever heard of this? Now, my friend Jeff uh, from Somacow used to have a phrase he called Cumbie Feet, which is the foot of a person walking around barefoot in a Cumberland's Farms store. Yeah. I nailed, yeah. it. Nailed, it. nailed it. Nailed it. 100%. See, 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 Presto I, trip for you. So when I, I always knew But he's knew the it. trivia guy. <laughs> As, and now he's logged Jiffy Feet for Bullenbush. <laughs> Cumbie Feet was, or was uh, our Cumberland version. Farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cumberland Farms, okay. right? Isn't yeah, that where he exactly, got it from? Yeah, exactly. Cumberland well, Farms. I have always heard the term Winn-Dixie Feet oh. when you have dirty feet. And okay. then it's like, oh, you've got Winn- 
Winn Dixie feet. Dixie feet. I've never heard Jiffy feet. Okay. And then I got mad at the article because I was like, well, what you're saying that all of Florida knows this and no one. And then I started asking, like, texting my friends and a group text. Have you ever heard of this? I've never heard of it. And then no one ever hears ever heard of it. And so, um, what the fuck? <laughs> what? How does it? So it says the locals suggest the term emerged in Jacksonville in the 1970s and was right, widespread by the early 80s when the Huntley's Jiffy chain was at the height of its regional oh, okay. ubiquity. So it's saying like um, Hold on, Huntley. Jackson started Bill. in Jacksonville. Hold on, Huntley. Not South uh, Alabama. Brad, Brad Huntley <laughs> from um, Bubba the Love Sponge, producer Bubba the Love Sponge and Howard Stern. I think he's Howard Stern's producer now. Is, really? Huntley, is that is that relation? I it's don't gotta know. be relation. He's huh. from that area, I think, right? Initially, the term's geographical range likely correlated with the presence of stores, stores named Jiffy, other colloquial we had a Jiffy Colloquial in the land. or regional names where the concept exists elsewhere, and at other times, dirty feet have been known as Kmart feet, grocery store feet, Winn-Dixie feet, and Gypsy feet. Whoa, you were on the board, and so was the chat room. The chat room said, um, they got it. They What did they say? They said, uh, my wife has heard of it, Kmart feet. Justin said Kmart feet. So, yeah. It is a it, it's a thing, but it but they're assuming that Jiffy is all Florida, and that's just not the case. So Jiffy, what is Jiffy? It's a Jiffy it's Mart. A store. We used to have uh, a Jiffy Mart. I've never in land. Even... Yeah, it was like a it was a blue sign with yellow writing, and it would say Jiffy Food Store. I think. So and it that, was like you get in and out in a Jiff, you know, like Jiffy feet. So that's feet Central store. North Florida. Uh, well, I, that was in Deland, so I don't know what Deland is. I yeah, think it's yeah, Central yeah. Florida. It so. said mostly like North Florida and the Panhandle, I guess, uh-huh. is where it started. And you imagine that's because like Florida is probably the one state where you can go barefoot like 12 years out of the month, basically. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, got to put yeah. shoes on up north You're for right. most of the time. Right. So I was, so I was going to say. fun uh, of a luxury, actually. So fuck you, Northern people. Exactly. You know, yeah. like, in and, dumb shoes. But in other states, I mean, Alabama and Georgia, Absolutely. they have the yeah. whatever shit. Have like, they got El Cheapo feet. Yeah, they got Cheapo feet. <laughs> El they got Cheapo. Low, that's a guess. Yeah, I yeah. know. Little Rebel. Little Rebel feet. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 they'll have like so ch- Rebel on the Run feet. A lot of Rebels. They got a lot of Rebel <laughs> gas stations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Run Rebel Run gas station. Yeah, little yeah. Rebel. Little low, Red. Little Reb. Low point in my life, I had come and go feet. So just a. So did I, sir. So did I. Yeah, it, it's just a shitty store. Yeah. I guess it could be Seven Eleven feet yeah, if you yeah, really yeah. wanted to say it. But I love Seven right. Eleven. No shoes, no shirt, no, no service. Yeah, service. I love Seven Eleven. Get out of here. All right, what's the next uh, one? Times up. Need a scooter mechanic. Oh yeah. Um, with the hips, uh, times are ticking. I've uh, the, <laughs> what are the hips scooter, have to do with the, it? No, it's hips like don't lie. the writings on the hold wall. On, the hips I, don't lie. Oh, Everything's on. being replaced. It, in the Grim Reaper is standing behind me. You can even see him if you zoom in on my camera. I need a motorcycle mechanic. To help me finish this electric no. scooter so I can get onto the sky is falling. <laughs> it is. It's because my hips are falling out. I need a mechanic. He'll help me do it. That way I can get one good ride on it. Take some photos for my Facebook pictures so you guys can leave memorials <laughs> on there. You can look <laughs> yep. it up the picture. Yep. Right? No. I mean, yeah. I got to do it. Oh, yeah. I fucked up. Hold I'm on. in over my head. I no. don't have time now. I do have sort of have time, but with me, a whole week off. No, but I don't. Like, I got <laughs> to take that time to say my goodbyes. So I'm taking that whole week to <laughs> do, I'm going back to Deland. Hold on. Goodbyes. I'm going to do some, like, Goodbyes here in Orlando. I'm going to see some people. On Monday. Throw axes with Ross. He's taking yeah. me for ice cream, Coquina mm-hmm. Rock. Monday's ACT show is a go-to show at your house, and we we saw the scooter, mm-hmm. and we talked about it, yeah. and it looks almost done. It's you were like, done. I just got to put it. It is almost done. So what do you need? Uh, uh, just a little more time, and I'm having a problem with the, um, on the side where you, you shift, I'm having a problem locking that arm. It's floppy right now, and it's moving because I had to remove the mechanism for shifting. There's no clutch on that side anymore. Okay. It's an emergency release button now. So since I removed all of that, the entire the the mechanism, you know, whatever you call that, the shaft that goes yeah. on your um, your handlebars, that it's you can't lock it, and I can't find the right size washer. I have to like these Brits that I bought this from. Yeah, I emailed them. I said, "What do I do to lock this arm?" And they're like, "You just put that washer on it, lock it, smoosh it tight, smoosh it tight." That's the fucking answer you gave me. Smoosh it tight. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not strong enough. Ever you see my hip? <laughs> Hold on, it's just a washer. I got to find the specific diameter washer that goes on there. So if I tighten it down, I guess I got to use like. Uh, some sort of wrench with a lot of torque and tighten it down to try and lock that handle. Well, that's no big deal. Have you considered the um, rubber band off of broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> you need a torque wrench and a couple of washers? No, but I like that. It's a nice strong well, rubber let band. Let me help you do no, this. No, no, no. You just go on your adventures. I, no, no, I'll go to you your house after your the mustache. show and, no. and help mm-hmm. you. If no. you'll need a washer no. and a wrench, no. you'll be fine. I'll do it in my, I'm either doing it myself or I'm throwing in the towel 100% <laughs> getting a professional to do it. Finish 
finish it next week. You got all week. I don't know. I'll try. Monday through Friday. You got all day. I think I fucked up, though. I'd rather just hire a person and get it done. That way I can spend some of the last moments with my family. (laughs) Don't you want to come? Your family's working. No, I got to spend time with them. I'm going to go and stare outside the the dance studio. I'll look through the window and watch her dance. I got to see her dance. Don't you kind of want to see Tom try to make the right washer out of a Bud Light can, though? (laughs) (laughs) Put a piece of cardboard between you. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Let Tom MacGyver your scooter, please. Some electrical (laughs) tape. It's fine. Uh, You'll be... Next week you can get it done. Okay. How right, did your handlebars it. catch on fire? I went down there. <laughs> you got it. You got what it. What else we got? We got uh, delivery strikes again. Oh, I'm so happy that this is on the list. Okay, so remember, well, we haven't talked about it really uh, because it'll be a show in the future. Yeah, it'll be next. On a show in the future, you're going to hear about me using um, Uber Eats to get Tijuana Flats. I think it was through uh, Tijuana Flats, and it was like seriously one of the best. Like, Andrea doesn't allow me to You've get never food delivered. Uber Eats I'd never before. used Uber Eats. And <laughs> Maisie complimented, like, she was like, these tacos are still hot. They got the Jason's mom sauce right, the extra chips. Everything was, they put it in the front of the door so nothing hit it. The drink still had ice. It was great. It was just a great experience. So last night, Andrea got in. This was before I fainted and ruined the night. Mm. Um, Andrea wanted Chinese food. I was like, sure, we can order some Chinese. I said, hey, you did the show, T1 Flat saying, hey. Let's order it. Let's have it delivered. Come on. You don't have to go out. You're tired. Oh. I'm tired. Let's yeah, just yeah. hang out. We can spend a little time together, watch some TV, have it delivered. We'll eat before May gets home from dance, and then we'll let her eat. Now, do you guys have that option? Because I live like just south of downtown, and there is it's maybe the only place in America there's not a delivery Chinese food place at all. We, like, really? No one will deliver Chinese within our fucking radius. You know what we used because Dom mentioned it? We went to Tasty Walk. Okay. Because I haven't been there in forever. And because Dom from West End Trading Company mentioned it. I mentioned it to Andrea. And she goes, I heard that. She goes, that sounds good. Let's go. So we ordered up a bunch of stuff that we knew Maisie would like. And uh, we ordered it all online. And they delivered it perfectly. And the bill came to $90. Ah. For fried rice and for ninety dollars, like, it was yeah. insanely expensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was just like like. And I am, and you went through Uber Eats, um, whatever they their delivery service went through. But with the delivery charge, with everything that we ordered, we ordered regular rice, fried rice. Because the entree. cheapest delivery charge you're ever going to get is Chinese delivery. It was it's like five. It was like eighty eight dollars and change. And God Andrea looks damn. at me and she just went off. And that's the, that's probably well, the real reason why she didn't want to well, call in today. She hold on, how expensive was the food compared to the, the Delivery cost? It, no, I don't know. The delivery cost can't be that much. It's well, standardized. It, it's, I got news for you. In this America today, I with, think it's different. With Biden's dog running around biting people willy nilly, like uh, my wife wanted to go out to breakfast the other day. It was forty five minute wait, but they had two spots at the counter. Yeah. So I was like, I said to my wife and my kid because she wanted to kind of go out. To, I was like, you guys go take those two spots. I'll go scramble some eggs at home. They got home. Two of them at a breakfast counter, just a regular ass breakfast place, sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah, dude, it was a expensive. lot. Dude, I, when I was over at Satellite Beach, I went to go get the uh, like all of the wizards kids uh, uh, McDonald's breakfast and oh. my kids are like God pancakes. Damn, how yeah. much was that? Because they got a no, lot of kids. Yeah, I or- yeah, wizard like, does have a lot. You can't use that example. <laughs> I rarely go to McDonald's, but I, I just started ordering yeah. like a king, like because I was <laughs> yeah. like, all this shit is cheap, right? Dollar. It used to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, dollar Mc, dollar Mc, dollar yeah. Mc. I'm stuck in like 2002 <laughs> prices yeah. or whatever, and so I ordered like five big breakfasts and then a bunch. Of, I'm like, oh, the big I'm breakfasts like, are expensive. I'm like throwing like uh, five hash browns. Uh, like God a couple damn. egg McMuffins or whatever, and it was like seventy dollars yeah. of McDonald's. It was like seventy dollars. Like I couldn't it, goddamn believe it. I was like, of McDonald's. Here's the part you don't understand. After just talking to her about it and saying, but, I th- like but the that's delivery, that's not delivered. That's re- that's a cost. No, of shit I, now. I understand. But yeah. like in her flawed logic of being cheap, it didn't matter. About like just the fact that it was being delivered and the Chinese cost eighty dollars. I'm the villain because <laughs> I executed right. I ordered the Chinese. It was eighty dollar Chinese. We had it delivered. Look at how expensive it is. You're an idiot. <laughs> no, and no, that's but, what happened. No, but she's logical enough to know that the de- de- you know delivery and tip is thirteen bucks, and that thirteen bucks is worth the time. The, but that's to the her, luxury. thirteen dollars when you're paying for eighty eight dollars worth of Chinese food mm-hmm. is thirteen dollars less off the cost of the eighty eight dollar Chinese food. Well, and I can never get her to. Well, that's that a way. mental. <laughs> that's what I've been Don't you dare. That's, that's what I've That's mentally been old cheap. She's cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I remember. She's Gilbert Momfrey. Yeah. I remember <laughs> having that anxiety yeah. and having to let go of it. And like just going out to eat with three kids. Like mm-hmm. even like 10, 15 years ago, going out but to eat with, I had to just let go of all. She doesn't eat kids meal. Kids meals are done, dude. She yeah. doesn't eat kids meal. Look, I took her out to Gators on, on Sunday so I could watch football. And we went down there and she ordered like a regular man-sized cheeseburger with fries and everything. Yeah. I mean, that's 15 bucks. My kids will eat order two dinners a lot of 
of the fucking time. It's like the kids eat. Man. Yeah, they eat. I'm glad you brought up Gilbert Godfrey because uh, he that he was, he was just on wings. I was watching last night. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, God he, bless him. He was mentally ill, cheap. Yeah, and, like uh, my wife. Yes, and then he died with millions in the bank. Yeah. So what did that? Get? Well, well, he's not, got a kid. Well, yeah, that, but now his kids wasting his money that he was uh, riding around buses, not spending a dollar uh, yeah. for what? So his kid it made now, him happy to save money. Uh, well, but yeah. when he died, Doesn't, like listening to podcasts, all the Gilbert Godfrey stories that all comics were telling were about how fucking cheap he was. Yeah. That was like that was all it was. Like yeah. I, I can't tell how many times I heard about the fact that he would he'd roll into like Orlando Improv on a Thursday. He'd order like a big Chinese meal through the Improv or yeah. whatever, wherever it was, you know, any Improv, and then he'd like eat that throughout the weekend and then pack the rest and take it for the fuck. Yeah, yeah. 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 What are you doing? He right. would take it to the hotel. Yeah. He did there. He would take if he had food left over, he'd take it on the plane home in his luggage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that story a dozen times. Dude. My wife did and, that. Um, not to <laughs> make the comparisons between Gilbert Godfrey being you know absolutely sick, cheap, and my wife being sick, cheap. Your wife also was a duck for pay at one point. Yeah, she was, yeah, yeah. and she also brought home uh, 17 little bags of Kroger brand pepperoni in her luggage. Because <laughs> she can't find them anywhere else, and that's the one Maisie likes, and they were on sale. They were Again, they were on sale at oh. a Kroger in Tennessee, so she filled her luggage with Kroger brand, brand mini pepperoni <laughs> because she's fucking cheap. That's not cheap. That's just taking a they chance of geography. They were on sale. They were on sale. <laughs> two for one. Um, what's the? Oh, the last thing yeah. was a video I saw this morning. Um, I sent it to you in an email, Dan. If you no, want to no, pull it up, no, no. but so I guess America's Got Talent is now doing an America's Got Talent Extreme. Yes, show? Yeah, yeah. Have you no. watched it? Well, weren't they supposed to do this a while ago? And I have I never even get, heard of it. I think, somebody got injured. Well, I, I thought that's probably this guy. Well, I thought uh, like <laughs> Travis Pastrana was a judge on it, uh, right, or something. I, I've I, never I, even heard of it, dude. So I, this is the first time I heard of it. And yeah. This guy did get injured for a stunt gone wrong, and he's now going to sue, uh, I believe it's ABC or whoever yes, the hell it is. I remember when this first came out. I remember when this... Yeah, they did uh, yeah, America's Got Talent Extreme, okay. which was all like stuntmen doing stunts. And then they, I believe Travis Pastrana was a judge, and then other stuntmen... Were like the were judges. Is I, it the nineties? Are you Mountain Dew? Stop using the word extreme. Come on, <laughs> I like it though. But, I've got it back in. <laughs> but it was all these guys that are like uh, like movie stuntmen, yeah. and then like guys that you know oh, do it's NBC. He's suing NBC. Maybe I got it wrong because I thought here's the little bit of the video. So this guy is like hanging in a straight jacket in between two cars that are also hanging that are going to. Then collide mid air, and he's supposed to release before that happens. Oh, this is the nine one one call. So no, there's a video. There should be a video up top. So did this guy arrange his own oh, stunt, or is it like a Fear Factor type thing where they had it? He arranged, arranged it, but he, for, according to what I read, they like you know skirted some of the safety stuff. So because yeah, it's up to the talent, the stuntman, to come up with to the come stunt. up with the stunt, and then they do the stunt, and then get. He also judged, like or... said like they pushed you to go even further than you were comfortable with, but it's like that's eh, kind of on you, buddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here's a little bit of it. When so I the, saw this, I was like, oh, "How so is this guy alive?" Are gonna smash. They're hanging at an angle. They're gonna smash oh. together, and he's in the middle, right oh. there. Oh, oh, got him good. Got oh him my good. god! Holy fuck! Oh, they just smashed him. They smashed him good. Uh, oh my god! Okay, I like the one guy. I like, like yeah. No, you know what I think he yelled, which is the dumbest thing to yell. I think he yelled, "Look out!" <laughs> like there's like, yeah, there's two cars collide, motherfucker. Look out! Yeah. Uh, did I the judges yells, go? Whoa! Did they hit the buzzer? I honestly, I think it was just a practice run, dude. Yeah, I think oh, it was a if practice. I remember Let's reading see, that correctly. If he yells, look out! How badly did he get Hold messed on. up? Hold on. <laughs> and, then, and then after that, Look out, he there's fell. There's fucking fire cars up there, man. There's after two cars and fire. After it smashed him good, he fell 20 feet. Oh, oh man. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Look out, there's a human well, falling. Now I am completely unimpressed with this stunt if it can happen to you and you can survive. <laughs> I don't give a fuck dangerous. about this anymore. If, like, yeah. if your whole stunt is just being pulled away from the brink of death, but it happens to you and you survive, fucking failed stunt. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yes. It's just funny. <laughs> he dislocated his spinal cord. Oh, oh man. Just the cord. Uh. <laughs> Lost his left kidney. Suffered what? third degree burns. It's probably on the ground. <laughs> fractured legs, ribs, and shoulders, Holy and shit. he is now paralyzed. Oh, oh that's man. the worst one. That's God. The, yeah, they saved that for the last one. 
Well, uh, that's no, but good. technically yeah. not death defy. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I would say uh, worse than the dog story. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this goes wrong, one kidney. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm in. Right. Uh, to show you wow. the, what the stunts Holy are up to now, Tom. Moly. So they're definitely gonna they have to pay him something, right? I mean, he, now I mean to be paralyzed. I mean, it's horrible. More but, importantly, is this what TVs come to? It like is, now man. we're supposed. To, it's a stunt. It's literally an arrangement. Thing. We're supposed that's an extreme event we're supposed to be impressed by? No, give me a juggler or something. <laughs> and also, I do like it, smaller, more human stunts. You know, like you know, sleight of hand is completely okay with me. Put your head in a box of spiders. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, something it's, simple. Simple. Factor us, yeah, yeah. it's just easier than this. Uh, have you ever seen the stunt gone wrong where like uh the, the, I like I, the old man in Britain that's walking on that, you know that thing that goes up and down and you just balance on it? Oh yeah. And yeah, you yeah. walk it. And uh, I don't know if he died or not, but I do like the it's it's in England. And and he's walking it, and when he falls, he hits every piece of metal. It is. Oh. He's like, gang, 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 and then hits the ground, and it's it's a fan favorite. I know I should laugh. Look at out! That. Yeah. <laughs> I know I should laugh at that. You, you know the guys that would do stunts at like the racetrack. As, the guy like, that would blow himself show. up. Yeah, like they blow yeah. himself up, but it was like, always like, the dome of death. It would be like a Biff Low Speed World. Yeah, Dynamite or whatever. Dan yeah, would blow yeah. himself up. It, similar, similar to that, but this guy was was doing a stunt where uh, a race car took off and there was a chain attached to the race race car and then a bunch of chain piled up on the floor. I remember that. And then it was like... As you're going out, he had to get himself out of the straitjacket chains <laughs> before. I'm already laughing. Before the what is wrong chain like like caught up and all the slack got taken out and, yeah. it, and then he was like so he's trying to get out of it and the chain is like ah! and the race car is driving and then he's about to get the last clasp out and then it's like yeah and then it just yanks him. Uh, I mean the most violent yank you could buy because the the race car is going 70 now so it go, he goes from zero. To seventy, and the chains are t- attached to him, and it like ripped his like arm out of the socket, and like <laughs> fucked him up good. But uh, he lived. That, yeah, he lived. Uh, can uh, we find that? Should uh, we find no, that one? Yeah, yeah. You can say yeah. You can look it up. It's a, and then there's one where some magician. Are we gonna attach this to YouTube Thursdays? We're gonna do stunts gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's oh some. There's a magician doing a stunt where like he's, he's like somehow. Uh, uh, tied to a board, and then he gets lit on fire, or like the the gunpowder is like uh, you know going towards snaking towards yeah, his body, towards, yes, and then he's trying to one. get yeah, out of the thing, yeah. and then it just bursts into flames, <laughs> oh, and, and he's man. on there. But then, just like Ross said, where it's not that impressive, he's still attached, and he's able to get out of the chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pure panic, like he's like, oh. yeah, <laughs> God, get these fake chains off me, and then he rips himself out of the chains. So you know, uh, revealing that he was never really tied up, but yeah. uh, it burned them good. <laughs> but well, you know what? It burned them good. These are very spectacular, <laughs> and these can be very jarring uh, to some people. Some people are too sensitive for these. Yeah. So I'm just as okay with a local television station telethon where local dojo <laughs> comes and dumb old man can't break wood. Oh, <laughs> it's, yeah. just good. Yeah. it's just as good. It's just as good. Because there's thousands of those on YouTube where you see dumb old man and he goes to, what are you going to do today? I'm going to break some rocks and he does it and he does the first one and breaks his hand. <laughs> and that's just as good. Yeah. Even yeah. better than that is the guy that's set up to like break the world record of smashing like coconuts with his hand or whatever and he gets to the third one and he just won't <laughs> <Yeah. play. laughs> like, Not going to do it today. Not he's just whacking today. a coconut <laughs> <laughs> with Pizan for yeah. an hour. It was a valiant try. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get out of here. All um, right. Yeah. So, uh, Ross, uh, are you going to be anywhere uh, coming up? If you want to see some real stunts gone wrong, uh, Google the footage of, is it, was it the Twilight Zone movie that a helicopter fell on that guy? Uh, oh, that man. Was, no, that was Poltergeist. No. Right, wasn't it? Or maybe it was Twilight Zone. You're talking about the... Didn't it... It killed a bunch of people, right? It was Three this, of the actors? This actor. I think his name was Vic Morrow. I thought he killed the little girl, too. He ran out... The So the helicopter's like supposed to take off, but the um the pyrotechnics were too close to the helicopter. Yeah, it was Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone the movie. Blinded yeah. him. And uh, so this dude, Vic, like runs out, and there's two kids in a field. Yeah. He grabs them, and then the rotors just come down on him. <gasps> and there's footage of it. It's yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can watch it. That's how I wake up every morning. <laughs> <laughs> That'll haunt you for a little while. Uh, next next Friday, check out a corporate time with uh, my wife. Uh, she does. Woo-woo. 
curse on the air. Curse crazy. Yeah, man. I did uh, not work on that. You come see me at the Bull and Bush every Wednesday at 9. I'll be there for open mic night, at least setting up at the beginning, first and third Saturdays. Uh, the 21st, special guest host Larry Fulford coming out to host nice. uh, the shit sandwich for us for the first time in a long time. And speaking of Larry Fulford, uh, you can hear him on uh, Tots with Ross coming out real soon. Uh, the Orlando Talk Show with me, Ross McCoy. Look it up in your favorite podcast app. And we got a contest going right now. Go to the Orlando Talk Show with me, Ross McCoy Facebook group, and uh, put your favorite. We're doing. We're taking a contest for you know how Mo says uh, injured on the go. Just call Mo. Yep. And he's got he's got don't divorce without Dewitt. Uh, we got a contest. Come up with the best crime and then a rhyme for Mo, and uh, put that in the Facebook group. And I will buy you if you win. I will buy you a pair of socks at Ross Dress for Less. No, that's I awesome. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna Tom looks confused. Molester Jester. <laughs> Molester. <That's> not... <laughs> Molester that Jester. That doesn't even make sense to what he asked for. <laughs> Molester Jester. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Just call <laughs> Is that yours? It's just Molester Jester and then the Mozart. Was, was that your contribution or the source of your childhood trauma, Tom? No, 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 I don't know. With that mustache, were you just naming your superpower name? Like, oh, his am, fucking brain's in the desert. Yeah, he's like, I am Molester Jester. Uh, I think he just named your newest fan. He's going to take over for Better Wild Chris. Um, Who's Jester? <laughs> Semantics. Don't, I don't want to go after Molester Jester. Molester Jester. I've got the devil at the end of my tarot cards. I'm following Molester Jester. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just go to semanticspodcast.com. All yeah. our stuff's there. There's a Patreon. Yeah, please yeah. sign up for the Patreon. And big uh, news. We do have free shows, but it, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, big have, big news. Patreon is partnered with uh, Spotify now. So if you're, if well, you have, yeah, that. if you have pot, if, uh, Potify, if you have, yeah, <laughs> we're should, done. They should, they, you know what? If, okay. if or you're part of uh, <laughs> Samantha's Patreon, now you can listen to the Patreon. Possibly, for, yeah. I don't know. I just Spotify. think that's a cool feature that they added. It's really, really neat that they're they're just everything's just getting bigger and and better. I we feel have a, like I mean, it just means Joe Rogan's going to try to raise money for a new bone arrow or something. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. or another ice tub. Mm. Um, we have a brand new app. It's uh, done by our, our really good buddy, Matthew. He's been working really hard on it. Um, we had a problem a couple of weeks ago where I think the accessibility of it for like people that don't have sight, it wasn't working, and that has been fixed. So if you update your app, download the new version, if you are blind and happen to listen to our show, it will now speak to you on the screen and show you where to go. We do have a particular listener who's listened to us for a very long time where we had that feature, and then it went away, but now it's back. So test it out for me, my, my friend, and uh, shoot me an email, and we'll see if we uh, we got it fixed up for you. Anything else, buddy? That's Rape it. clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Have a wonderful trip, man. Yeah, have a great trip. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, we're all brand new shows next week, Monday through Friday, and the Friday Free Show, the BDM Show, yes. all shows. Uh, so you won't miss nothing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You won't miss nothing, guys. Um, we will see you next week. Yep. Ah. Uh, Wait a minute, I I can't publish that. It's um mediocre. <laughs>